about to start. everyone. Welcome to a new episode of No Conduct Radio. Tonight, instead of talking about sexual fantasies and fetishes, we're actually going to be talk, talking about your crazy relationship stories. Why did I change it, you ask? Because we have a special guest on tonight, which is Char's son. And I feel it would be uber creepy to be talking about sexual fantasies with your son on the line. So, we changed tonight's show. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Great. Hey, everyone. Hi, Share. Yeah. <laughs> BJ, hey, BJ, hey, BJ, hey, hey. BJ, the superstar. Running late, what? Huh? How was it? You were. So let me tell everybody. Yeah. BJ was at Fashion Week oh, last yeah. week. That's why he couldn't yes. join us. I pre- I'm pretty sure I said that, but I wasn't sure. But he was at Fashion Week, uh, Fashion Week last week. And mm-hmm. I have a question for you, because as soon as I saw yes. it in the news, I was thinking about you, and you already know what I'm going to ask about. Mm. What, the Cardi B thing? Yes. Did you see it? I know it's a no, long stretch, actually, a long was, read, but actually, did you see it? I was actually two blocks away at the um, Bergdorf Goodman building. They was on... Um, Fifth Avenue on West 58. I was on a uh, fifty-eight and uh, off of the Bird Off building, up, uh, like two blocks away from them. But there um, was a lot of commotion, so I don't know. I was asking questions, but there was too much stuff down there. But yeah, it was close. What happened? They was at the um, Icon Award at the Plaza Hotel and at the Tom Ford show, second show, and they was like getting into it, I guess. Uh, I guess who? I guess Cardi B threw a shoe at Nikki or something. It was crazy. They, cause somebody talked about, I think Nikki talked about her mother, uh, her, um, her kids or something like that, uh, her child, Cardi B's child. So they act like idiots in front of all these white people, which is ridiculous because, you know, giving them entertainment, oh, they can't hold their composure. I said, really? At that level, you can't hold your composure? You want a street fight? All right. Come on. All right. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even say I wouldn't even say like in front of all these white people is just period in front of no. all these people and you're an adult. No, it was it basically is that it was a lot of white people at the Plaza Hotel for that um the event. Trust me, and they were just no, no, no. Off, I understand what, you, what you're you saying, but I'm saying my thing is not even just in front of all these yeah, white people, too. just in that's front of all too. these people as you being an adult. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. That's true, but you don't want to give. You know, white people that kind of um, entertainment because they already put everything bad about us on in the news anyway. Like TMZ, they never put anything positive about any uh, ent- entertainment artists if they're doing something like getting locked up, stuff like that. So it's crazy, but they could be at that level to do something like that. It's just insane. And then sit right next to one of the biggest um, magazine publishers in the country, uh, Annie uh, Wines. Wines, she's like Vogue right there. So they sit right next to her. I was like, really? I was like, come on. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, like everything's okay. I said, they don't, you know, I said, look, it's okay. They don't have to be crazy. Can't get them no kind of uh, celebrity status or any kind of uh, power. Because <laughs> we act crazy. I'm saying, yeah. please, hold on. Like, well, first of all, yeah, you know, what you're saying is correct, but in the, in the same sense, Cardi B is an ex-stripper, so it's not much you can expect from her. As far as yeah, that's true. That's true. She got, she got from the hood. Right. She came from the hood. Right. Well, Nicki Minaj is saying she came from the hood. And Nicki Minaj, too, is a glorified around the way chicken head. It's like, what do you. Right. You can't expect much <laughs> from these people. Yeah, that's true, too. But you figure they're, they're at that level, they should be like some kind of. Some kind no, of, they're know. not at any level. She rose to that level because of her ass, and the other one rose to that level because she was a stripper. So, so there, there was no growth. On their part, that's, you know true, that's, that's, true like, too. that's like saying, that's true. "Oh, Little Wayne at his level, shit." He he openly admits that he's 
smokes crack. You know what I mean? He does it. He, he said this before. Yeah, it was a lot of, you know, such and such was paying people in heroin and blah, blah, blah. And this is the way that you came up in this business with this kind of guy? Like, what are you, come on. No, you can't expect any class from these people. But then you got to think, too, um, they, they didn't right, They didn't put themselves in that position anyway. It was that those, those high, you know, those executives and stuff like that that runs everything in um, the music business. So they actually, you know, but then again, thinking they know how they're going to act anyway, but still, you know, I was like, whatever. I think it's all ridiculousness. I don't care if they are from the hood, grew up in the hood, grew up around the hood. You have sense enough to act like an adult. Yeah. I mean, if somebody just say, oh, you're, you're, you're your child is this. That. Yeah, well, why, why you want to fight right. him and throw a shoe at him? I'm like, hold up. Did you just ignore that? I was like, man, is this? No, I mean, you don't assume anything about these people and their mentality of how to behave. There's they're a lot of dumb people. Yeah, definitely. look it up, and it's not just a black thing. Look at um the the guy, what's his name? Uh, Conor McGregor. He, he's yeah, the yeah, yeah. Ghetto Irishman I've ever seen in my life. You know, he walks around <laughs> in shiny tin foil looking suits. It's the tackiest thing ever. But you can't tell him he's not fresh. He thinks he's mm. doing it, but he's the, but he's ignorant and racist. You know what I mean? So it was like it's the epitome oh, so of racist. white trash. Huh? Yeah. What was that? No, I said, oh, so racist. That's what I said. <laughs> yeah, you know, but he's the epitome of white trash, and that's what it is. He's, he's just a ghetto white dude that got money. So you can't expect much class from him. That's when I, 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 I got into a conversation with the, um, uh, one of the um, designers there, and we just had his talk, and he, was there, he said, Bernie, um, you know, so suppose all the black people just doing what they do now over here, making money, whatever, go over to, you know, stop Africa with Africa and do the same thing, how would America be? What? It, you know, you know how, how, how rich would America be, like, far as um, in their um, state of, um, with the right now, probably the richest company in the, in the world. But if all black people are go over to like they go to Africa and do the same thing they're doing here over there, like making money, you know, resources, all that kind of stuff. Exact thing. How would how would America stand for it economically? And I was like, well, it won't be nothing because we doing everything here. You know, we you know building actually built the built the country really. So we we'd be doing the same thing in Africa, building that up. That'd be the strongest uh, nation continent anyway. So he's like, yeah, that's true because uh, what we doing here? Huh? I disagree on that. Uh, totally. Well, as far as what? <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, if all the black people were to, like, let's say if all black people for some reason had a collective idea like the Borg and decided to all go to Africa and, and confederate and we all going to, nothing, there would be no change in the quality of life in Africa because these nations that are first world nations now, you know, the U.K., the United right. States, they would do what they're doing now, which is actively, you Raping know, blocking and right. uh, disrupting democracy. They do that now right. due to, like, you know, Saudi Arabia. They have trillions of dollars of oil, but the royal family only are billionaires. How is that possible? If is they that, control yeah. all the land, it's because BP and everybody's gone in there and decided how much they're going to give the Saudis. You know what I mean? So they don't run their own country, essentially. And they get all their weapons from blah, blah, blah. So they do all of that kind of stuff already. So if black people decided to go to Africa, it would be the same thing. Like what? Are you, like black people wouldn't still have record labels that have to distribute the United States or the United Kingdom, you know, established right. businesses that does the, you know, um, marketing and all that—that that, that's all going to be the same because they're going to control it as a business. Mm. The United States has very little oil, but they control most of the oil in the world. Right. That's not—it's not a coincidence. So why? And we're saying like yeah, BJ. Oh, yeah. Cause, but we're saying but, like black people because we okay, okay, every okay, war, okay, okay, war okay. in America. We're getting into a whole different conversation. Okay, okay. I was, okay, I was just, okay, just talking. <laughs> I wanted to get hey, the point was... across. We got the point across, and then let's switch all it back right, up. Right. Let's switch it back okay, up. Okay, okay. So, all right. 
All right, so I said hi to BJ. We found out that he has no news for us about Cardi B, which I was hoping he would have something, like he saw the, you know, fist flying, no. leaves, something, smacking asses, something. Oh, no. But he I had could, no I couldn't get an inch. I couldn't get an inch. I ain't got that kind of dough. What? <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to Logic. Crazy. Logic, how was your week? What's going on with you? And if you just tell me you've been sleeping, then we're moving on. No, I'm just preparing for my move and moving. I think I, uh, I think I mentioned that last week. You know what? Are you moving to like a high rise condo in Philly? Well, that's uh specifically none of your business, but you know, <laughs> it is it's a nice place. That's <laughs> yeah. a very nice place. <laughs> you said that All right. So preparing for your move. And uh Char. Char, how's everything going with you? Oh, I'm great. It's well, a fantastic week. It's my son's last day here, so he's should fly back to Jersey tonight. And we've just been oh, vegging out, watching really bad lifetime movies. I bake chocolate chip cookies, and we're having drinks. So that sounds up. She said, <laughs> I said, time. neat. Not on a rock. <laughs> Did you say you bake chocolate chip cookies <laughs> and you're cookies drinking? drinking? Yeah, yeah, I you heard what she said. Jameson, Jameson and, Jameson and um, Ginger Ale is pretty good, yeah. and I was you sure you want the drinks with cookies? Because of course, I was like, "Yeah, that's my that's my coffee." <laughs> she said, "The way that I unwind after I cook cookies is having a seven to seven. Seven to seven. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what any of those drinks is y'all are talking about. I don't. You no, know, I don't drink. I don't know what any of Jamerson. I think she well, said, and you said it's you know, seven or seven. Seven and seven. It's an Irish whiskey is what I'm talking about, Jamerson. But I, but he's being mm-hmm. he's whiskey. Adding to my God, hilarious Smith of it. Well, what, what, so, yeah. so let me get this straight. Let me get this straight, Char. Mm-hmm. You're eating cookies and I'm drinking whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay, so. A, I, I actually presented this to my son. I was this your this you want homemade chocolate chip cookies with actual cocktails. I mean, you're sure your stomach starts to boil. No, mom, I'm good. That's why I was like, that's my boy. <laughs> but what yeah. Logic's talking about is like another type of drink that he's just being, you know, just adding to the hilariousness of it. And I said we were watching bad lifetime movies all day. So we've just been vegging out. Um, had a great, huge breakfast. It's just been a really nice day. So, you know, it's his last day. And we'll probably go on the strip later before he goes. So that's it. You know, go see what's going on with those crazy people down there. Cookies, strip alcohol, club. Cookie, not the alcohol strip club. That and the Vegas week. Strip. That would have been last week. America. The <laughs> no, the strip club is when you first get into town. That's your introduction to Vegas, but just the strip. Um, it's the called strip club is an induction to Vegas? Down. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, the that's the introduction. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. In a limo, by the way. You have to go in a limo. They, it's all free. They give you drinks wow. for free a lot of times. And well, there's <laughs> no use to take the girl, so wow. that goes without saying. Is, 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 a, is mm-hmm. riding in a limo still a thing, or is that something I, that people yeah, I guess realize? Is, I guess, I all guess you need is, is 150 yeah. bucks, and you're good. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's still a exactly. thing, man. Included, it's free. Like, is, that, is that really something people still look at as balling? Yeah. yeah I, I mean, so. it's, probably, it's, probably like it's, it's probably like it's an experience, you know what I'm saying? Because I've never been in a limo. Though. Then right. again, I don't really have an inclination to get in a limo. limo. you never been in a limo? But no, I've never been in a limo. I don't really care wow. to be in a limo. It's just for what? <laughs> um, but I think it's more the experience, not really saying that you're balling. It's just the experience that, you know, I rode in a limo. I think that's what you is Nowadays, the SUV well, stretch SUV, SUVs. Yeah, SUVs. I was like, take it from here. No. <laughs> yeah, DJ. but I look tacky. But anyways, 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 so I'm going to, because I have a question for uh, Char's son. So I'm going to introduce him. Um, so we have Char's son on the line. And uh, <laughs> you know what that means. Char, son, Char, all our stories. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. What? <laughs> no. What the? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wow. excited. That's so, a fact. That's a cool fact. Like that <laughs> Char, let us know <laughs> that. He has produced and directed over 200 music videos, which I'd like to see which music videos he has directed. I'd be interested to see. And he does have a, an active rap, rap career. Um, 
So I want him to introduce, introduce himself. He, she gave me his name, but I want him to introduce himself. So Shar's son, you have the floor. She called him Shar. Oh, hello, everybody. Shar. What's up? What's going on, everybody? Yeah, of course Shar. I call hello, him Shar's son. What am I supposed to call him? Hi, Shar's son. What's your name working. for us, please? Hey, what's up, everybody? Can you hear me? Yeah, we yeah. can hear you. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Yes, it's, it's well. My name is Rob, but I go by uh, Cuddy Evans or you know Cuddy Pop the Minutes. I got a few different names for each different um, thing that I do. So, um, but I, I pretty much uh, you know most people call me Cuddy Pop. So <laughs> it's a funny name. It's a funny Why? name. Why? Okay. By, so two questions. Two questions. And I know I your mean, mom warned us, warned you about us. So be prepared, son. Be prepared. Um, mm-hmm. So two questions. First question is, your mom says she calls you. What name does your mom call you? Let me let me ask you that first. My mom calls me. You know. You know. Why? You know, like yeah, like why? money backwards. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> well, I, why? I don't always know why she calls. <laughs> Not wow. all the time, but um, um. You know, I don't know. She's just been calling me that forever. Uh, money backwards. I, I don't know if it's because I, sometimes my money is backwards or when it's full. I, I'm not <laughs> not sure, but um, wow. I don't know. It's been a nickname that always stuck with me for the, I don't know, since I've been here. So yeah, she's yeah, called you that for your back. whole life? Um, It's been at least 10 and 20 years or something like that. So. Mm, you wow. poor child. Yeah, maybe maybe she's um <laughs> trying to manifest you know. daily, you know, by calling me that, maybe to manifest something in the future, something like that. I don't know. Some so, other I mean, we do intuition. have we do have some questions for you about your mom. We're gonna keep it classy, as classy as we can. Keep it on no conduct. But we do have some questions for you about your mom. <laughs> but my okay, first question is, keep it classy. Y'all need to separate, cause I hear I hear an echo. Shar, you need to go somewhere else. You can't be hovering over his okay. shoulder. Yeah, she too. She too close. Yeah. <laughs> Get a feedback. Um, but my first question is because she said, first of all, she's drinking and eating chocolate chip cookies. But second of all, she said mm-hmm. y'all have been watching Lifetime movies all day. Now, now, uh, with me, I don't know. <laughs> this is Kai being Kai. My question is, how manly is that to sit and watch a Lifetime movie with your mom? <laughs> that was an estrogen day. Wow. <laughs> I was just, I'm just wondering, well, like it's 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 funny you ask that because uh, <laughs> I just mentioned that to her earlier. I said, you know what? I think I feel like um, Lifetime movies. I think that it's a little overrated, and and they need to um, re you know reclassify who watches Lifetime. Believe it or not, men like those movies too. You know, they, they it's all the same. You know, like every movie uh, is typical and the, with uh, the same uh, plot, what? the same twist. But the thing oh, is, like, news to me. It's, 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 yeah. I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why I like Lifetime movies. Why? Because I like I like realistic stuff. I don't really like you know like I, I hate like fictional stuff. So that's the realism. But Lifetime gets, you know? movies are the very fictional. They <laughs> nah nah you know it's, it's the same typical story. You know the girl's husband was you know they got divorced and you know the guy's a stalker. You know, he comes back to the job. He's waiting outside. You know, it's the same story, but it's it's, it's entertaining. I don't know, man. I like to see that kind of stuff. Maybe you know, the funny That's part is, every time I've ever heard thing? of something like that happening, there's been a woman doing that to a man. No, yeah, no, nah, they got, they got, they, they got, see, they got both scenarios. They got the men who come back and stalk the lady after, you know, the, you know, the guy's ready to kill her. You know, the, the, the whole dramatic story, but. They got a lot of little different twists and plot twists that are actually interesting as men men would uh you know, tune in for a second. I got put on to it by, you know, sitting with a woman one day and actually tuning in. I was like, you know what? Well this see that's so when me and one of your boys <laughs> <laughs> called you and you went to the gym. Yeah, yeah would you yeah. So 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 that's the question. Would you would, would, would you tune in trying to get with her? Just to you know, just to you know, Trying to, to talk to her. Nah, believe it or not, believe it or not, um, it was like you know with a, somebody who was like a real significant other at the time. So we, man, I don't know, man. After watch her, she watching it every night. You know, you like, you know what, man? Let me nah, see. What you got to draw the line. And then you see, yeah, you see. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, listen to Logic. I mean, Logic said you have to draw the line yeah, she, somewhere. Don't listen to him. 
Logic has oh, no yeah, woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I don't have no woman no more, so that's why I'm going to just say she, you know, whatever you know, whatever she was at the time. So, oh, but. Now, but you know. could it be that you watch Lifetime movies? Is that the reason you don't have a woman anymore? <laughs> <laughs> Well, to be honest, Probably. I really, I really don't watch Lifetime movies like that on my own time. It's just that I, I, I could appreciate watching like if a woman does put them on. That's more so with it. It's not like I go myself and like you know look for the, the next Lifetime Truth movie or something like that. <laughs> yeah. I was not looking at Lifetime. Truth be told, he actually prompted me today. I was a lot, I didn't even have Lifetime. He downloaded all these amazing apps where right. I could see all these uh, extra movies on um, streaming, so I wouldn't have had a clue. My, cause she's right next to me still. She said she was going the other one. She is she's, still she moved, right next she, to you. She moved oh two more feet. She, she, can't go she, she, cannot, she cannot go on the other one. That's what she is. Do you just want to get on right the same phone with your son? Is that, do you yeah, just want to get on the same, on the same phone same. with him? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ma, she's being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> you got you to you teach those things. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I'm sorry. I'm just picturing his whole life. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Like, Can you imagine okay. a poor kid that had his friends over to play some video games, and she comes kicking the door in with whatever chic outfit? <laughs> Hi, you guys. My name is Sharon. <laughs> oh. Is that, is yeah, that how your mom was when you were little? Unfortunately, I mean, fortunately for me, no. What I tell that, you, I could, that sound. No, 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 no. She was, she was cool. She was, she was, she was, um, she was, she was a breeze. She was cool, mom. You stuttering a lot. <laughs> nah, because it's really, honestly, <laughs> it's really nothing. It's really nothing bad to say. My mom was one of the best moms you had. That's all right. We understand if you can't talk in front of her. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, for the first time, she's actually not in the room next to us right okay. now, so we actually, we're actually good this time. She's actually maybe in <laughs> another room. No, but, but listen, Tec- be honest. Technically, How anyway. blissful was the day <laughs> when you moved out and got your own place? I'm sorry, how how, how was how was it? I'm I said, question. how happy were you when you got even the day you moved oh. out and got your own place? Oh, I moved out kind of like early, so... <laughs> I yeah, we, we can believe that. <laughs> I was, well, yeah, I bounced around back and forth. I was one of those kids who just left quick anyway. So, but yeah, I mean, it was. Wait, 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 wait. Can I it was that's one of those. True. That's not true. His father, he went to live with his father when he was 15, and that was something they did. Damn, had. she blown so it wasn't up like his spot on that. <laughs> she didn't bounce out yeah. and independently get a place. They talked about he was a man. Not when I was 15. Said, I was going to give him a He said, Mom, I'm so, going to be a man go. in a few years. He's like, you guys, honestly, got you. He said, Mom, I'm going to be a man in a few years. Okay, My now, dad you, and I now, now you're making up stories. All right, Mom. And, you know, I feel like maybe it makes sense for him to raise me from this point because there's things that he, I'm going to go through that you won't know as a woman how to handle it but I love you a lot and that was that so we talked about it and then I said okay we you know that was it that's how he left that's it wasn't cool. like oh, that's, that's, that's a condensed spot. version it's for, it's 15 years old <laughs> 15 years old no, yeah, that's that's not, that's he moved from one parent to the other parent at 15 because you know he was with both parents his whole life until I, then so okay well, well, that really, that was my you know, answer, guys. All right. That was my answer. Yeah, yeah, we heard your answer. You heard what she said. That that was my that's my answer. <laughs> yep. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's so, the extent of the relationship, all right. right there, ma, 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 ma. <laughs> yeah, my mom. She's uh. Which was actually, it, it's actually like one of my questions. So, like on the show. Mhm. How should I put this delicately and nicely for the son of a person? Uh, why, why, your mom why doesn't you know how to, to shut that? the fuck up. Sometimes she just doesn't. Oh shut no, up. no, 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 no! My mom is the number one talker. She can talk really good. Oh, we know. Yeah. We know. <laughs> she's really that's a ta- that's a talent. She's she's a talker. She oh, well, here's talk. my question: When you were mm-hmm. young, did your mom jack you up or did she lecture you? Which kind of parent was she? Um, little bit of both. Um, cause I mean, she okay. only was like that probably in the beginning. She, you know, she got a little bit more lenient as far as jacking me up. When, you know, when I got a little older, 
Um, but when I was young, she was, you know, she was a little bit like that when I was younger. Probably to, up to about seven or eight or something like that, maybe even nine. After that, you know, it was kind of just like, you know, it's, it's a little bit, you know, more difficult with a, with a you know, raising a boy and stuff. So, you know, I mean, some mothers, they will, you know, jack their boys up up until, you know, whatever age. But I guess that just my mom, she just, she really didn't have to do that too much. <laughs> I can't see Sharp being, like, even spanking a kid. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I, you know, I have she a theory. She did spank me a little bit when I was younger. I have a theory that Shar started out as your average blue-collar, you know, mother, wife. Somewhere along the line, some kind of hippie, new age, freedom of expression and artistic thing just went off in her head, and she just turned into this. Thing that we see <laughs> every day on the, every week on the show, <laughs> you know, exploring the feelings of cosmos. Like, oh, you yeah. know, Lonnie, Lonnie, I was never your blue collar mom. I was an entertainer, so I was always on set and doing shoots his whole life. And then after that, we're in studio, so it was never a normal, you know, at home baking bread and, or knitting, you know, stockings or or go, I did go to PTA meetings. Who the hell knit you know, stockings? I'm thinking, exactly. well, I'm thinking of a grandmother. Sorry, I'm thinking of a flashback from a grandmother at that point. Wow. But, no, but I was absolutely not your normal mom. It was entertainment his whole life, everything around him, so it was not normal. He, a producer's always around, signing contracts. It was just a lot. It's a whirlwind his whole life. That's probably why he's in the business, I'm sure. Now, As Rob, he was, before he was born. confirm. Um, I, I I got lost a little bit just just a bit. Right. We, um, we we always so, get we always get lost. Uh, yeah, you tuned her out. Um, so so I kind of forgot exactly like what I'm confirming. I know, but um, uh, she said you were living life among producers and signing contracts and all um, that stuff. Well, yeah, well, well, I didn't sign. I never. You know, I wasn't no, there. for me. <laughs> no, we're talking about yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, me um, and no, when, when he missed kid, all that. He missed always, all that. You know, doing acting and stuff like that. And, you know, my dad was doing, you know, you know, dibbling, dabbling in the music business and stuff. So, yeah, you know, ever since I was little, I wanted to. I know I wanted to do something like this, you know, something in that realm. So, I, <clears throat> yeah. Um, and now I'm I still, I'm just, this is something I still do, so. It's definitely taken a toll. It's definitely been like you know something I've been influenced by from the beginning. Definitely give my mom and my dad that credit for sure. His dad was okay. my manager, so that he missed all of that. But that's okay. They were just asking if I normal mom or was I like something. I wasn't blue collar or anything. Your whole life it was just entertainment, entertainment. So Ty, he ran away from home when he was five years old to become a rapper, and he was in New Mexico, and he announced that. He literally ran away from home with a suitcase and nothing inside the suitcase but a basketball. I mean, How he was far gone did for you hours. get at five? Good Lord, how did you let him be gone for hours? Yeah, yeah good mother. Come back. I didn't stop him. I didn't stop him. What? what the, I didn't. At five? Should you go and be free and explore your <laughs> career. <laughs> Going to be free. <laughs> Just make sure you bring back yeah. the team. This this is not a story that I remember. All I time, but my mom always tells me about it. Man, she she this is her favorite story. I can't I can't recall like yesterday or anything, but I'm sure it's a, a real <laughs> a story. <laughs> so I, I I'm just curious, Shar. How did you let your five year old go for hour? Where was he? Well, I knew that all he was going to do was go three streets over to one of our best friend's houses, and he was there for about six hours hanging out, and then I knew he would get hungry eventually. So sure enough, at the end of the day before it got dark, he was crying. He comes to the door, and he said, Ma, I'm really hungry. Can I come home? And I said, uh, no, I don't think I said yes right away. I, I know what happened. When he first walked out the door, I said, you forgot the toothbrush. That's what I told him. Because I said, all you have is a basketball He's like, yeah, I'm running away. I'm going to move to New York, and I'm going to be a rapper, and I don't want to be here anymore because you're mean. He had to tell me I was mean. So what part I said, okay, the basketball it, playing rap? Right? I have no <laughs> idea. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. I don't even understand that story, that part that's of the That's the truth. Oh. That's actually what happened. And then, but he came back because he was hungry, just like I felt, like putty in my hands. He came right back. Well, why, did, why didn't your best friend just feed him then? No, uh, she... 
I think she probably, you know what, I don't know, because he just, I knew he would come back home. I knew that he would come home because he's hungry. That's how kids are. Kids are hungry. So I knew it. But I let him see for himself that I wasn't going to stop him because I knew independently that he was going to come right back home, and that's exactly what he did. But it was some hours later, but I wasn't worried about it because he's only in so many different places. The point is, ever since he was four, he's been telling me what he wants to do with his life. And he didn't know he would move into producing or writing, you know, doing music, videos, and, uh, you know, films and all that. But he started out as a rapper. And so at that point, at four years old, by the time he was 11, he was selling tapes out of stores, you know, in, in Jersey with some Italian mobster people that run the store. I don't know. Who was his role models rapping? Who did he look up to? Uh, you know? You asked because my mom been answering all my questions. Are, 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 yeah, I always, always, always. So you were still on the phone. Okay. Yeah, we used to. Yeah, I used to. Who, who were Ma, the influential rappers to you? I'm just joking. Um, <laughs> um, I don't want to be typical, so I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think who. If you say um, Run DMC, I, I say, I'm going to hit you in the back all, of the head with a rock. No, 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 not at all. I'm, not, I'm, only, I'm only 32, so. No, not at all. Um, I don't want to just say Tupac Biggie, you know, yeah, Jay Z, but that's that's. I mean, literally, that's who I was listening to. You know, uh, I'm 32, so I grew up listening to you know the 90s rap and stuff like that. Um, okay. But uh, I, dag, I hate to be typical and say Jay Z, Nas, and, and Biggie. <laughs> wait, no, no, wow. no, 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 in the Indeed. golden era of rap, okay. Indeed. So honestly, mm-hmm. who was your who was your your influential top five? Jay Z, I mean, you took you t- Biggie. In the area <laughs> where um, Jay Z, Nas, Biggie, it was a little bit of Wu Tang. What? Um, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, 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 and the and the and the L L. And um, oh, Eric B. and Rakim was in the '90s too. ECMD was yeah, in the '90s that's too. That's older. That's a little bit older for me. I, that's not. I'm like I'm not. I, I don't know. That's like my my dad listened to that. You know what I mean? That's. I, 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 I that know. That is who so are. shocking to me. Yeah, that is shocking. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really going to give you give you the, the you know the grief about EPMD, but it's. You know, when you're in... I mean, when I grew up, I, don't I wasn't know. really... I wasn't even... I didn't really hear that, you know. Especially, like, when I was really... Well, let me really ask you this. Like, let, me, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. As a rapper, yeah. do you feel that it's necessary for you to listen to rappers that influence the ones that influenced you? Like, to do your research, so to speak, in yeah, the genre? absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, That's so when you do, when you're saying Tupac and Biggie, stuff. they they were influenced by other people. So I mean, right? Like yeah. you ever heard yeah, of Cool G Rap? You you ever? Yep. You ever listen? Yep. Heard of Cool G Rap? Yep. Cool G Rap. Yep. Queens rapper. I know him. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know too much of his music though. So I know I know um, who he is though. Wow. The guy with the lisp. Whatever. Like I'm, I'm a little bit too young for that. That's what I mean. Like that, that it, was music not, that wasn't out I when I was growing up. This is something no, that I, I think, hear. This is this is. Go ahead. Cause he, cause isn't you he like, think about isn't he like rap? our age? Aren't, aren't you in your thirties? But see, this is no. This is this what is where we go think, wrong like, here. When Cool G Rap came out, it was in the eighties. I was like two, three years old. You know what I'm saying? So but like, no, I but listen, listen, listen to the point. <laughs> listen to the point I'm making. When you when you hear people of other genres of singers mm-hmm. or uh, people that are in rock and stuff like that, they listen to everything. They don't go oh, yeah. by, oh, I was born between this time and this time, so I don't listen to Like, if you listen to these young kids that were maybe influenced by Green Day, and but they mm-hmm. also listen to Pink Floyd and, mm-hmm. um, you know, Black Queen. Sabbath and Queen mm-hmm. and so forth. And, you know, when you hear people yeah, like yeah. Ari- Ariana Grande like was talking about how she listened to Celine Dion and she listened to Aretha Franklin. And Aretha Franklin like, so yeah. it's like she's going way back <laughs> Because singing is what she's into. So she didn't just mm-hmm. say, like, oh, I, I only listen to Madonna, and I, that's when I was born. But for some reason, when it comes to rappers, they only say, oh, well, this is what I listen to because those other guys are old. It, like, it doesn't, 
it's still a music genre that has been evolving. So it, I don't understand why rappers just don't go back and figure out who was who and what was what, and because you're missing out, especially if you're talking about the '90s, because in one year, '96, the Purple Tape dropped from Raekwon. Nas you know, had, I know uh, that was tape. written drop. You know, I know that tape. The, I know that tape the too. The whole, the whole Wu had their solo albums. Slip mm-hmm. Moon Squad and Busta Rhymes dropped their first album. Like this all came all out that. around all the same time. That's, that's all so the stuff you, I grew up listening to. All that stuff you just named, what, Busta Rhymes, Wu Tang, all of that. Yeah. Um, uh, sorry to interrupt, um, but Rob, uh, our listeners are asking, what's your rap name? Oh, okay, so my rap name has now changed to, it's the funniest name ever, but it's going to stick with you. It's Cuddy Pop the Menace. Why is my name that? I know that's the next question, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> because well, you're it's a funny, like my, kid, my kids, well, <laughs> my kids um, basically named me most of that name. Um, like, you know, my name was Rob Cuts, you know, at first, and then um, people started calling me Cuddy, and then my kids started calling me Cuddy Pop, and then we just... People just started joking with that name, and they kept calling me that. So I just ran with the Cuddy Pop, and we just added the menace. I don't know why. We just, you know, that's just something that just it just stuck, man. It's kind of hard to explain that part, but so it's like one long name. And so when you read it and you see it, it kind of makes you say, "All right, what is this? All right, who is this?" You know, like, you know it's it kind of stands out. So. Well, can I can I just make an interjection suggestion here? No. Because no. he has so many sure, man, because he has so many names, because he has so many names, and he just recently changed it to that. It's easier to to look him up under you know uh, probably the name he's had the longest. But when I said the two hundred videos, I'm talking about producing videos for other artists because that's what he moved into years ago. It's, it's being a, producing videos for other artists. So that's what you what if anything, That's what they should be looking at. There's there's so many of them. So that's there's a link so there online. You give me like five. So I, I'm sorry. What'd you say? Uh, five He's asking artists. what artists that you're producing videos for. Uh, just, oh. just some of them. So no big name artists. Um, it's just artists all through the out the tri-state area. You know, New York, okay. New Jersey, Indy, Pennsylvania. Indy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, a bunch so of. So question, artists question. Like that. Just, just a bunch of paid gigs. Okay. Question um, from one of our listeners: Are you able to, I don't know, share a video? Like, I guess you could send it to me, and I could put it on our website or our Instagram or YouTube uh-huh. or all three, so our um, listeners can see your work, or just one video. Sure. I mean, I don't know. Like, you want to see like like a music video, or, like that I directed, or like how, like what did you want to see? Like my personal. That's your director. Like... That's fine because you're the directing. Okay. It shows your work. So yeah, that's because I do have like I have like a film reel, which is you know, uh, <clears throat> it's not my latest one, but it shows some good. It, it shows you a um, like a, a quick segment of like, you know, two minutes of but all you said blended there's work over and 60, quick snippets there's over and yeah, you can videos. No, not that, that's not fine that if you want to. If you want to. Oh okay. Like, it's like a reel. You can send that if you if that's what you want to send, whatever. But they're just asking to see your work. Yeah, that's fine. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, Rob is going to send that, and by tomorrow we'll have it on our website. Or you think you'll get it tomorrow? Because I think you're going to be traveling, huh? Um, I'm actually trying to get it over to you as we speak, just in case. Uh-huh. Okay. But, yeah, by tomorrow you all will see it on well, our website, and I'll share a link to our uh, Facebook, No Conduct Radio, and to our Instagram, No Conduct Radio. All right, so – we got to get to these uh, these questions from our listeners. But let me see. Did I have any more questions for Rob? Hmm. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna ask you this question, but I'm going to be honest with you. This question came from your mom. So <laughs> I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, what was the best thing about having Shara as your mom? Um, that's funny. I mean, these are just like typical good son, Lord, son mom. She really asked yeah. that question. I, mean, I know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, she, she took answer, me in and she she took care of me. I, I mean, these are that's like all, typical. That's all you got to say. typical. That's all you got to say. Don't dig yourself in that hole. Don't dig yourself in that hole. Right? Because she's your mom. <laughs> 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 I'm 
you don't waste it as a question. It's not like you, know, you had eight moms. You could just say, well, she right. was better because. Because she did what it she did. It should come back with a comment. Don't dig yourself in that. I'm alive and healthy and well, so I. I there you go. That's me. Right. That. Stop talking. That's, 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 that's all. Right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that. That's it. You sound like a See, there she go. There she go. Oh my See, God, BJ told you you should listen to your elders. I told you. Man. He told I you. Did you go. Did she go? <laughs> now be like, what's the best thing? Because there's also a question of logic. What's the most annoying thing as well? I didn't just say what's the best thing. I mean, gosh, you know, they mean personality wise. Anybody can say your mother's. Here you go. After burner time. Here we go. After burner. Lord have mercy. I'm just, but BJ, why are you stopping her? I'm just going to let her talk. I want to see how long mm-hmm. she's going to talk about this. <laughs> just mess it up, BJ. Good God. That's a good thing. So today's show is about <laughs> crazy relationship stories. And we've heard a little bit about you in the past. So I'm just going to be honest with you. We have heard a little <laughs> bit about you. So <laughs> do you want to tell us a little bit about why you're actually divorced? That goes in theme with our with our show today. Oh yeah, I don't I don't mind I don't mind speaking on that. That's fine. <laughs> okay, so you were happily married, married, you know, love of your life, or you thought it was the love of your life. One day, what happens? Uh, you know, one day it just it just went from night to day. Honestly, night and day is like a big switch. You know, just like. Uh, when you thought everything was all right, it's just boom. It was just a whole nother way, you know. Um, I think that's how it works when it happens. Like, it just happens out of nowhere. You don't see it coming. It just happens out of nowhere. Boom. One but, party, what, but what happened? Because I heard that she did something. What happened? Well, I don't I don't want to say that she did something. But I just, I, I look at it like I was a little bit more betrayed than anything. You know what I mean? So, like, that'll do. you know. <laughs> More so down the line, like, you know, um, we separated and then, you know, she met like, she met some new guy, you know, she started dating and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. And, um, but, but, but my question to the guys on the panel, my question to the guys on the panel. So if you, you're married, whatever happens, you separate. And Mm -hmm. I guess your girl or your wife is because it's not your ex yet. She meets somebody else and she starts talking to that person. Is that? Bad? Is that what? Is that bad? <laughs> I mean, because y'all, y'all, y'all are yeah, separated. Like, You're not yeah, together. Yeah, I mean, she 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 started a new relationship, so that means obviously she um ended this one, the one you know you was in. So she started a new relationship. You can't start a new relationship and still hang on to the old relationship. That's crazy. Plus, yeah, if it if it happens very quickly, then obviously your mind is going to go to well, how long was she talking to this guy? And blah blah yeah, blah, exactly. blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, typically I that's that's what people do. I have a question mm-hmm. for my son. Didn't this happen while you mm-hmm. were still married? Is what they're really getting at? That's that because that's not a scandal. Somebody that's just what they're, they're they they know man. that they get that. That's, no, what, they that's don't. why they're saying they this. How do they know that? Because no, we just they did said not separated. Guys, everybody, no. we're, we're all aware. Yeah, yeah that's because we just said separated, said separated, not yet divorced. That's right. what we said. Exactly. No, that's no. My question is, were you not separated even when it happened? I mean, honestly. When you were still together and you had no idea no, we were that she moved on, I was, I was separated by that time. She didn't move you on. Mean, while you mean I was in your house. heart? <laughs> we no, didn't move in on your in heart. You were How you separated in your heart? Separated. separated. When I say I'm, I'm separated, trying, I mean when here. I say separated, I mean physically, literally. I I wasn't living in the house with her anymore. And then she she went and moved on with this guy or whatever like that. She but didn't move, move on with the guy it. while didn't I was with the same group with her. Nobody's that nobody's that crazy to try to move on. Yeah, I kind of change it under the same. No, I don't know. know. (laughs) Okay, I'm just trying to really get to the truth. So here's what I'm asking you. Okay, really get to the truth. I'm confused. Did infidelity happen? Did infidelity happen? Period. Did infidelity happen? Period. Infidelity happens. Period. When you're married and you have. You know, uh, and you out, you, you have an affair while you're married. That's infidelity, period. So, so is that what happened? That's we what were asking. separated, but we were married. So yeah, that's infidelity, I guess, if that's what you want to call it. Yeah. How long from the time that you moved out did you find out that she was probably seeing someone? Um, probably a couple months. Okay, months. then it did happen. Then it probably happened while you were still there, but you didn't know it. That's what I'm getting at. 
It could have. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I'm not here to play detective. I could, I, see, the thing is, by that point, I just said, oh, well, like, you know, because that's how I'm gone. He just gone. gave up. He just let it yeah, go. Yeah, that's how I'm go. gone already, and then you he just let it go. play this news for me. I'm not trying to figure out how long it was going on. I, like, at, at this point, like, I'm, I've been gone anyway, so it's just mm-hmm. it's one of those situations to where, you know, and it, and it's, it's, it's <clears throat> I hate to say it, but it's something that's, not hard to, like it's something that's kind of expected like it's not a surprise you know when this kind of stuff happens you got to kind of like not be so shocked when things like this happen that's how what? I learned that's how I learned I, to when you, I don't know how that's possible I don't well, really agree with that logic might agree with you logic might agree with you but I don't know how that's possible logic so, probably you gotta, agree with that you got to learn so how she, to not so she I mean no it's, a, it's something you learn to be, do she cheated on you because y'all were still together. And the funny thing is, which I don't understand, I don't think any of us understand, doesn't mm-hmm. Shar still, like, talk to her and call her her daughter and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. Well, How does that make you feel? She, 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 I, she just she calls me all the time. She texts me all the time. Like, we still talk all the time. You know what I mean? So, wait, yeah. wait, why? Wait, wait, wait. Why? 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 Why are you talking to her? I mean, she has to be a man. Why are you doing this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. No, so, seriously. Like, why just, Why are you talking to her? Well, I mean, it's, I mean, hold on. I, I know I, they have, one, you have like two sons, right? You have two sons yeah, together, yeah, so yeah. that could be a reason to talk. Yeah, but no, but, but no, hold on. But there's that? a difference. There's a difference in calling <laughs> about your kids and then calling to shoot the breeze. About. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's yeah, true. yeah. I know. It's, that's why it's a stupid, complicated situation. At the end of the day, what? because it's like, it's like, like I'm, I'm living my own life right now. You know, I'm not over there. You know, chasing her down and trying to figure out what she's doing. I let her live her life or whatever like that. Um, <clears throat> but at the end of the day, you know, we've already got past all of that stuff to happen. You know, so now we're just cool. You know, we just. Oh, we just cool. My, my question. My question is this. My question. My, my, my question. Though. That's My question is this: If if I, I you know we understand that you're past it, we understand mm-hmm. that you're not hung up on it and you're not chasing her, but why nah. accommodate the call? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because it doesn't bother me, man. You know what I you, you know what oh I learned God. throughout this whole it's situation. Right? I, I, don't get that. I, don't I learned get that. something really great. I learned great qualities throughout this whole situation that happened to me. And these great qualities now are that. Yes, I've learned that. I, man, my you can't face. It's so hard to face me now. It's so hard to face me. Like I, nothing, nothing bothers me anymore, really. So I let okay. people be. You know why? You know, but you know why, man? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop cutting you off. I'm sorry. But this oh, is good. the reason why nothing bothers me anymore because I now know that most people are the same. You got to know what to expect. I think we expect too much out of people. That's the problem. And what does that Most mean? Most people disappoint us. Most what does that mean? I mean, it, it, it's it's one thing to be so, like most people are the same, don't get blah blah blah, and then it's another thing mm-hmm. to just let people walk all over you and do whatever they want. No, well, no, no. Let's listen. Let's listen. Hold on, hold on. Let's not let's not, let's not get into that, the walk all over that topic. <laughs> okay, I, I want to get back to what you just said. You just mm-hmm. said that we expect too much out of people. What does that mean? Yes, we expect people to be, you know. This super hundred percent loyal robotic, you know, mach- loyal thing or something. That's not true, man. People robotic. are human, man. So, 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 yeah. That's so that's, actually, that's fake. That's fake. So, the, so, what, that what do you feel is a more unrealistic. rational uh, image of what to expect out of people? I, I here's the thing. Okay, I don't want someone to you know backstab me or double cross me. I don't want that. But when it, if, but if it was to happen, it wouldn't it wouldn't even bother me as much. You know why? Because I know how people are. You gotta expect it. You know? Oh no! I'm not as shy no, anymore. Okay. About these I mean, let me I'm let me explain to you what happened. No this I'm this woman this woman in this situation has broken him. That's that's what this yeah, situation that's is. What, yeah, he's broken. He, yeah. he can't even he can't even look at a relationship now and <laughs> consider undying loyalty. Yeah, because yep. it, he's so broken now. That in yeah. his mind, it's inevitable. It doesn't it's always, matter what the situation is. It's, it's inevitable. Right. That's what we're going to end. Yep. Oh. Damn. Oh, I hate man. to hear that. I hate to hear that. Out of, Yo, especially man. young guys. 
Yeah. Oh, nah, guys, so I think you got. Shot. I think. <laughs> I think you guys got me all wrong, man. I, I don't look at it. No, that no, way. listen, man. No, oh, you no, no, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say like this. Like I'm, I'm not. I'm not judging you at all because yeah, I think the problem. I think the problem with male um, social behavior nowadays is that we are so quick to say, "Oh, you got to man up and you know stop thinking about that." Uh, you like you. We don't want to acknowledge that being cheated on is emotionally devastating to the point where how we operate is we act as if in some way that it's almost gay for us to even feel emotions. So the fact that a man would be hurt because he loved somebody and was submissive to this woman in giving his love, and she destroyed him in the process because she didn't love him the same way or eat, or sometimes not at all. So in our mind, <clears throat> oh, we just got played. Oh, I, I look like an idiot or whatever. And so you just start to kind of just lock off and, and cut off everything that you feel, everything that you expect in a relationship, everything that you hope to have as a man. You just start pushing it all out, and you don't deal with the fact that this was an emotional trauma that you experienced. And now you've re constituted in your mind, number one, what to expect out of relationships in general now, which apparently loyalty is too much to ask in your idea, and two, you've allowed yourself to repurpose what your experience was with her to the point where now she can now call you like you're a buddy. You know what I'm saying? And that's not what you were. You were her dude. You were her husband. You were the father of her ch- child or children, whatever the case may be. So that's the only thing that she should be able to talk to you about. And if she calls you uh, with anything else, your response with no animosity should be, you made a decision to leave. So you don't get the benefit from talking to me or knowing me or getting yep. any of these other good qualities out of me because you uni- unilaterally decided what our relationship was and wasn't going to be from this point forward. Yeah. You lied. She didn't even give you the 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 respect for you to make the decision and say, sit you down like a grown woman and say, listen, my feelings are changing, and I think that I want to blah, blah, blah. She lied. So, therefore, she took that opportunity from you to make a man's decision. You should have nothing else to say to her, but in your mind, I'm just, you know, I, I don't want to expect too much out of nobody. So I, I'm just, I'm good. I'm good. And that's what you keep repeating to yourself because you sound just like five or six of my friends. Like, I'm all right. I'm cool. I'm all right. I'm straight. One is 50-something years old, and he thinks monogamy is not a human characteristic. 50-something years old. He doesn't Dang. think a woman not banging several other guys besides him is not possible in his mind. That's how broken he is. Wow. He's been cheated on three, four times in his life. But because he didn't want to deal with it, this is how he <laughs> views humanity now. It's not possible, so I might as well just, you know, be okay with being one of these guys that she calls when she's bored. Like, that's essentially what he's saying. Well, I actually have uh, two questions from him, uh, for him from our listeners. So the first question is, uh, did you ever cheat on her? Oh wow! <laughs> I hope so. No, I'm there. See, nobody ever asked me that. <laughs> really? Wow! Damn. I mean, I'm so talking about the answer y'all. is as far as this. Uh, well, I'm sure she's not listening right now. So, uh, yeah. Hold on. What this doesn't make it what she it was. Make? Yeah, yeah, you're not together. No, nah, because yeah, for me, no, nah, because for me, listen, I, don't, I, don't I hope care you banged her sister. Oh no, no, that's not. That's, 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 that shit just going to right. leave, and, you know what I mean? Like, that's oh, not she ain't listening. Logic, logic. Well, Kai, 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 what's going on? Kai, yo, man. Kai, Kai, just ask yeah. who cheated first. That was that was that was solve everything. Who cheated first? That's what we really need to know. No, don't ask that. No, no, no. It don't cheated first. Yeah, okay. Well, you don't know that. How do you know? I probably cheated first. 
you're but kidding. Well, what do you mean? Pro- you what what do you mean? Probably. Probably. But, here's, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. He's protecting here's the her thing. because she might be listening. That's what it is. No, but here's Protect- the thing. No, here's the thing. I, I, I got into a relationship. I, I, I'm not protecting. I don't care about who. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> I not worry about if she's listening in. Um, but anyway, what I was trying to say was, but we, was, we got into a relationship real young, you know, so. Uh, no, like I said, nobody ever asked what I've done in that in that relationship. You know, they see what happened in this new instant. Where so now it's like it seems like as if I was, you know, an angel, you know, because I look like the victim. So you know, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I was like, you know, Mister, you know, Mister Faithful, number one, you know, the best guy ever that I can be for her. Um, there was a few things that you know I I did before too, so. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, oh, so the on. next... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got one question. Wait, wait. Everybody, everybody be quiet. Everybody be quiet. Cut it. <laughs> honestly. And don't look at your mother. Don't worry about who's going to think what. I'm in another Just room. I'm in another room. Just be... Okay, Sean. Hush. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Be honest with yourself. And be honest on this panel. If your ex was open to working things out. I was going to ask. Would you be open to that? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Say, ask one more time. Come on. He was talking Shall to Sean. Talk, Sean was talking to him. <laughs> Quiet, Sean. Yeah. He said if was your ex question. was open to working things out with you, would you do it? I got a great mic. Sean, anyway, okay, we're I'm, on she, the air. Move away from the boy. <laughs> Move. All right. All right. Good God. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm, not, I'm, I'm noticing. Can we get on I'm with the show? Pattern. I'm, I'm noticing. Can we get I'm on here. with the show? Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing. Okay. Char, yeah. please don't talk to him anymore unless you're talking to him on the show. I'm so Rob. to put it yeah. on mute because oh. I sound like I'm eating and I'm like, put it on mute. Char, okay, Char, I can on. do that. Just... I, I've, I've, Char. Been, I've been producer of this show for four years. I can do that. I heard his ice and everything. It's okay, Char. Okay. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Now the question is. Cut it. Listen, fine, forget, forget all that. Forget it. Look, ignore, to get to the ignore, of ignore, this. ignore the squawk. Yeah. Just listen to what Just focus. Okay. If your ex. If your ex. Realized her mistake and came to you and said she wanted to work things out and rebuild everything that you lost. Would you be open to it? Well, it's funny you ask that because she she talks about it all the time. You know, she talks about it. She mentions it to me a few times a month. Most likely. Listen, I don't. I don't want you to get uh, caught up in what what she has so, said. I'm I'm talking about actual no, action so I, I, on her part. Already, so this is already something that um, we try to do. But today, for me, no. no see, I listen, do cut, it. cut it, cut it, cut it. Hold, hold on. You're 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 mm-hmm. you're trying to go three steps ahead. From <clears> my <throat> question. Just forget about okay, what's, what's happened the what's, so what's far. The Just listen to what I'm asking. If she. Question? If she realized her mistake, right, mm-hmm. and then started to actually physically do things in her life, whatever, to kick whoever out and to get mm-hmm. closer to you and said to you, I'm so sorry, I've, I've realized what I've done and my mistake and, you know, I've had everything that I was looking for this whole time and I want to rebuild everything that we lost, would you be open to it? Would you consider it? No, because like Why I just not? said once again, we've already just tried that. I'm so no. <laughs> she already tried to get rid of him. I tried to move back in. You know, we tried to do that. It didn't work. You know, so I won't even do it again. And the reason why I won't do it again either is because now it's not that. <clears throat> see, like I said, I don't hold grudges, so I don't really care about all of that. You know, oh, I'm mad at you about this. That I don't even care about that. It's just more so. Now I, I'm I'm a new person, you know. When you be when you're away from someone that long, you know, y'all become new people. You got you might I might not even like her no more. She might not like me no more. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like I live a whole new life now. So I don't even know. We may not even be compatible anymore. 
You know, so, so that's it, how I look at it. Fear, is it is it the fear of not being compatible that stops you? Well, it, it's the it's it's the fact that I love my new lifestyle. Okay, <laughs> so it's like I I love the life I'm living now, and it's that's I don't want to say it's going backwards because I love my kids and stuff, but it's just like I don't know, man. That's not that's I'm not that's not my life anymore, you know, particularly. So, How long ago was this that she tried? It's, it's been almost three years. Oh, so since we tried, it's been like a year, almost a year. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. Oh yeah. It's 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 still fresh. Still fresh, right? <laughs> okay. So the next question that came in for you was, um, oh, is her man okay with you talking to her? No, not at all. Okay. Yeah, she's sneaking and talking to him. Yeah, she's sneaking the right? right? Uh huh. Yeah, he he finds out a lot, and then you know he's always mad and all that, you know. Damn. She just, she but just, I, I mean, so you so know, if, if so he so finds out, you, <laughs> this is my question. You, now, you know, if he finds out that either, that right? he's talking to that she's talking to you, he gets angry at her. That means they're arguing. So, are you okay with this arguing going on in front of your kids? Oh, I, I don't know Good that that's Good happening. I can't, I can't, pimp, I can't prove that that's happening. I would hope that that's not happening, and of course I would not approve of that happening in front of my kids. Um, but I do know, like I said, I do know that they argue about us all the time. You know what I mean? So, but once again, she told me, you know, what kind of guy he is. You know, he storms out the door. You know, he gets upset. He storms out the front door. You know, like a sitcom or something. Every time he's upset, so. You know. Yeah, but that. Yeah, but see, she, she shouldn't be telling you what about her relationship with him. That's she's well, telling me about her relationship, their relationship now. They tell me, listen, at this point, I don't really care what they do, so it, it doesn't affect me. Right. It's not like oh, I mean, in, I, but, in a but, sense, but, in like, a it, sense, you should care because this is what your children, your boys, are exactly, seeing. Exactly. Exactly. So, so and, and at the end right. of the day, at the end of the day, like I got to make sure that you're still around someone with some sort of sense. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it don't okay. bother me. So, 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 Oh, she's pausing. Oh, she's pausing. I know. Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, man. Yeah, it's been really. It was was like 75% of the whole whole thing. Yeah. You said 75% of what? Of the whole relationship. The whole relationship. relationship. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 75% of the time you've been having sex with her. Logic. She's playing both sides. What the hell? Yeah. Yeah, she's she's, she's doing the same thing to him that she she did to you. Damn. She left him for another man so she could could still be with you. That's what it sounds like. Have her cake and eat it too. That's crazy. Yo, man. Yo, yo, man. Stop stop texting her, man. This this is for the kid. This is for the kid, not for her. So, 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 but that that whole having sex, that that hasn't happened since. It's been a, it's been about eight, it nine, does. ten months. It does it. it doesn't ten months. Just ten months. That's that's new. It's been ten months. Last year. Yeah. So. Let's put it this way: if she needs something, she calls to my son because she knows her her dude can't provide. So he he's the one that helps her out. My son helps her out. Big dive for kids. Is that what, what? what you really think, Shar? Really? Is that what you really think? Yes. My mom is lying. And obviously, obviously they're still in love with each other, so he still does anything for her. Her dude is yeah, He just I don't said know he, don't, he don't love her. He just said no, that I do he right. would not. I do no, 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 her. listen. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. This is what you do. You care do because she she bore your children. You don't love her because you just said if she did all of this effort in her life mm-hmm. to realize, you know, to, to actually shine light on the fact that she did something wrong, she physically started clearing out her life. In order to clear a path for you and her to rebuild what you lost, you said no because I like my current life more. So you that don't, don't mean love I don't her. love her. Oh, that don't mean I don't really? love her. Really? You I, are you serious? Every, just because, <laughs> just because <laughs> you don't, like you don't, you don't have to be with everyone you love. Here we listen. Here, here, here we go. Here we here we go. With this Joe to see version of love that, now. Oh, I love that you that now, mean, but you know, we yeah, can, we can love each other. We don't have to be together as long as I can still smash them guts. 
That doesn't make any sense what you're saying right now. <laughs> no, nah, because this, this, just because you love somebody don't mean it's good for you. That's what I'm trying to say. That don't mean it's oh, good for you. What? No one's saying if it's good or not. It, what I'm saying is, but that's what I'm you don't, looking at. What I'm getting you, you <laughs> I, is care. It good or not? <laughs> no, listen to me. You've been watching too much Lifetime. I don't care how much of these women <laughs> say that. Oh, I love him, but I'm not in love with him. That is some cute bullshit, bullshit. people say now. <laughs> what it is is no, that's, that's you weird. either love somebody or you care, but you don't love them. When a woman and a man who is not related love each other, they don't want anyone else touching them. They don't want to be around anyone else like that. They don't want to live the rest of their life with someone else. When you are you were in love with somebody, but the love ended, you might care about that person. You don't want anything bad to happen to them. You want them to you may even want them to prosper in life, but you're not in love. You're not you don't love them. In and love, it's not no. the same love. In love no. There you go. Just listen to me. People like to put that in love. Oh, I'm not in love, yeah. but I That's love them. No. That's no. No. There's That's only two different, different types of love. There's family love, and there's two people that come together type of love. That's only one. So if it ain't in love together and we live in the rest of our life and build and everything, you're not, you, don't, you don't love each other. You care, but you don't love each other. You can love your brother but or your sister or your mother or your aunt or whatever, but that's a whole different type. Kind of two love. perfect strangers can't love each other like two cousins love each other. Like, oh, yeah, I hope you know, right. so-and-so makes it, whatever. You care about that person. But you don't love her anymore, just like she don't love you anymore, because if she loved you, she would not be letting some other dude pound her guts out right now and <laughs> is raising her kids with some other guy. She wouldn't do right. that if she yeah. loves yeah. you. She That's cares. Cute. She might not want you to get hit by a car. She might not want you to die. <laughs> she may even want your record career to, to take off or whatever. But I'm telling you right now, love is not surging through her, it, just like it's not surging through you. When you smashed her, it was more of a, I'm just trying to get this out. And maybe, I don't know, maybe it was a little thing of, okay, I'm going to do to this guy what he did to me. Who knows? I don't know. That's for you to square. But don't start lying to yourself like, oh, yeah, I love her. You don't because you don't want to live with her. You don't want to be right. with her no more. You don't want your life to change by her coming into your life. That's not right. love. <laughs> no, I'm going to still say so, I love her. I'm going to still have to say I love her, man. Yeah. Damn. 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 You don't have to answer this, but I just I'm just curious. Do you mind me asking your name? I mean your name, your age? Hmm? Yeah, I told you I was thirty two. He's thirty, he's a young boy. Okay. Yeah. He 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 feels like the coochie train is just pulling into the station and he don't want <laughs> to give up his ticket because it is yeah. broad. Now at one point at one point he was willing to sail off the side of the earth with this chick, but she changed the dynamics yeah. of how he felt. She raped him emotionally, and now he doesn't know how to deal with that anymore. So he See, smashed yeah. her a few times <laughs> yeah. just because he was caught in that rhythm of this is the yeah. girl I always wanted to be with and whatever. Yeah. He was hoping more than likely that the feeling would come back. It didn't. So, and now he doesn't know how to cope with it, but he still doesn't want to admit to himself, yeah. I don't love her no more. So he's now he's playing this Hallmark movie thing in his head, like we love each other, but I don't. I'm not in love with. It. It's nonsense. That's crazy. Even, listen, if you even if he even if he really kind of still loved her, and was able to do some inhuman shit and separate his personal feelings with the situation, he wouldn't want to destroy her relationship by cheating, helping her cheat on this dude. Because he wouldn't want her to be that horrible person that she was to him, to some other Again. guy. But yeah. he just now there's no connection anymore. He doesn't care. You know what I mean? As long as it's not going to spill over into yeah, that's a, that's a good no question problem. though. Do you do you feel guilty whenever you're doing this with her? Uh, of no. course not. He busted nuts. No. You can't be guilty and busted nuts. Busted nuts. Not at all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm just, any like I said, you, like I said, with like I said, you, any of it makes sense? But like I said, I don't, I don't, I, like I said, I don't do that anymore. So 
Um, I mean, right you now, did. It's only like, been 10 months. It hasn't even been a year. So. That's been, yeah, that's early. a long time. Early. That's a long time. Ain't a long time. No, you that's talk, not a long time. A that's basis, so not a long time. time. If you talk on a regular basis and you help her out if she needs something, that's the same thing. As doing Whoa, she calls all the time. Hold up. That's you help thing. what? You, you do what? You're helping you her? You didn't hear Shaw say that? You didn't hear Shaw say that? Yeah. No. I that you help her? I am. I threw Shaw out. What? Yeah, just be, I mean, you can be honest. That's what the show is about. Cutty, 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 Cutty. Cutty, do you help her? Of course, yeah. Why would I not help oh. my mother and my kids? Why would I not do that? We did. No, you outside help your kids. You don't help her. Why would you outside help her? Kid, no, not your she's still a, he's you listen, listen, let me, let me oh, tell the panel. Let me tell the panel something. He's still in love with her. Isn't, isn't she's she helping me? She's from him, and he's still spoiled from him. Isn't she helping me right now? Okay, everybody stop. Everybody stop. Stop, stop. Isn't she helping me right now? She's helping raise my kids every single day. How is she helping you? She's helping raise my boy every single day. She's helping let me, me. Let because me, you know let me why? let you understand Her something. tire blows Hold out. On. You'll pay for From the tire woman. if you have Hold it. Hold on. Star, 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 star. Star. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, because let who's driving my kids around? Her. Let <laughs> so, me so, yeah. explain something to you from the from the point of a woman. She's not helping you. That is her children as well. She's doing what she's supposed to be doing. So, no, Absolutely. you're not supposed she's to doing be it. helping her. No. Stop saying She's doing it on her own. No. Though. See, just, I, well, she, she I, I has a dude. She has a dude. Wow. She's not doing but it on her own. those ain't his kids. Those ain't his kids. Okay. So, and that's so your responsibility I, so is surrender? doing stuff so for your children, not helping her. Anything dealing with her is her responsibility. Absolutely. Okay, so so for one, I will never pay her rent. That, I, that's, that's for her to deal I with. Hope you know, her bills, I hope not. Her regular bills, you know, that's her to deal with. But if she has any problems, emergencies, and things like that, and I could help, I would help. You know why? Because like I just said, at the end of the day, when you when you help your kids' mothers, you're helping your kids. When you're mad, when no, 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 it's the same thing. No, you're because not. At the end of no, the day, you're not. This, at the end of the day, this, this is the this, this is the lady that your kids look at every day. The, the, the lady that your kids respect every day. It's the kid, the lady that your kids look at as the person that's taking care of them every day. Wow. So why I, would I? I, no, I, wow. I, I, I why would I? Not? Okay. I, wow. I take care of my kids. Wow. I don't take care of my ex-wife. I take care of my kids. Exactly. Hey, forget that. I, I don't take my I don't take my ex-wife shopping Absolutely. and so, so, buying so let clothes. Me, so let me ask you this. Let so me ask you this question. So if what? your ex-wife. If your ex-wife's lights get cut off tomorrow, right, and she can't pay the bill, and, and you okay. can you can help. You're not going to help? Cause you're going to have your kids in the dark because you you, have, you feel, oh, you feel all, you know, whatever. Child, no, no. Macho feeling about this first of all, first of all, the, 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 the so, lights should be out because what I give them, yeah, I give them, they should already have their lights on. So that means she mismanaged the money. Yeah, I will leave the lights out. Okay, see, that's exactly. different than me. You're different than me, then. I, I, I'm not that. I, we different. That's all. But, okay, because at the end of the day, 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 it doesn't matter about. I, I, I'm not about to hit, sit here and use what someone did before in the past. Or no, 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 that's not, no, no, no. You're not using that. To, it's like, on how I determine how I treat them in the future and. And that let it reflect on my kids just because I'm mad at this girl because before no, she was there, now she's not mad at her. No, no, it's not even mad about being mad at her. at her. For one, that's too petty and that's too immature. You know what I mean? That's so at the end of the day, if them lights yeah. got to be cut on, then just cut them back wow. on. We'll be, you okay, might have to cut them back on. Here's a better question. You know, you know, you know here's a better question. You know, here's a yeah, better question. But, you already gave her money for the kids for that month. This is hypothetical. She calls and she wants something for her. You've always spoiled her. You've always been good to her like that. And you know her man can't pay for it. Would no, you my, that was an example. We were talking about lights. We were, that was an example. We weren't. That wasn't a real situation. I was no, just, I, I'm just saying answer like the somebody, question that I just had. No, the question that I just asked. I'm, I'm at. To what, what is that? The, what let's say. No, I'm saying the kids have already been paid for the month. You've already given her money for the month. Let's just say you did. You already gave her money mm. for the kids, and she called and said, "Oh, you know, Rob, I really need something. I really wanted this or that. It's something outside of the kids. Something for her." And you know she can't ask her boyfriend, so which you you had it, would you give it to her? Because you've always fought her, and she used it. It depends on how much. You know she can ask you anything. If it's not small, then not, of course I give it to money. Oh but my god! But I don't. I don't. You just love you. Yeah. I don't really care. That's, that's how I do it. Whatever. 
That's not normal. Yeah. Because she, uh, because she can lean on you as a friend and as a lover. Up, yeah. She can because lean on you for anything. Day, her man should be taking Because at the end of the day, house. because at the end of the day, she got to go to work from the morning to the night. Put make what? sure the roof's over my kids. But that's not your responsibility. Listen, but that's not your responsibility. She's outside of that. She's outside of that. She's outside of that. Listen, she got to go. She gotta go listen, she, no, but that's this. But Yo. this is why. Look, she got to go to work it's all day, all night. I'm not talking about she gotta pay the bills. I'm saying she got to put the food on the table. She got to do all the things. Pick them up. Put them to sleep. She got to do the homework. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, everybody, pause. And I'm over here. I gotta get some stuff in for my listeners. I'm over here in Vegas chilling. <laughs> okay, I gotta you get some stuff in for my money listener. On the trip. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, go ahead. People, Let me stop. Okay. So, apparently, a majority of the women agree with him, and all of, of the men course. agree with us. Of course. Of course. <laughs> wow. Why? Why would the women I, I'm, agree? I'm getting messages that this story is the most amazing thing they've heard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And that's how I, I feel bet. too. I bet. Uh, so I just wanted to say this for me: if I was mm-hmm. a dude, or or say say I didn't have my kid and my ex husband had my kid and I'm paying child support <laughs> and then the lights get turned off, I'm not mm. giving him money for the lights. I'm going to say, okay, well, you apparently can't give my kid a good place to live, so I'm taking my kid until you can get your financial situation together. She's not, or she or he is not my child. I am not responsible for them. I'm responsible for who I spit out of my body, and that's it. You're saying well, in you your go case, to work all day. Your case, you go I to work all day, too. Almost. How in is that a double standard? In your case, I say standard? it's a double standard because – you shouldn't have to pay the man's, you know, the man's uh, bills. If, if, it's, if, it's, if it's electricity gets cut off, then that's that's on him. But wow, why would it not be the same for your ex? Why would it not be the same for your ex? So I don't have to pay for my ex, but you are okay with paying for your ex just because she's a but, woman. But 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 at the same time, I know that she would help me if I needed that. So <sighs> whatever, yo. This dude is broken. What y'all? Yeah. Y'all just might as well yeah. be together. Why the hell are y'all apart? Y'all are basically together. But yeah. Sleeping with other people. Nah. Yeah, because nah, the better question is, if he's do you, here, you, do, you do you want me to explain why this what? whole thing is happening? <laughs> why? Why? Because does it, does it she, involve a whip? <laughs> no, she she's no no it has nothing. Listen, he's not whip. This is this is the situation. I'm not whip. She's at all. playing. She's playing the field. Because she is on this whole uh, better dude lottery, like she she wants to continue to play the field and hope she's gonna find a guy that has mm-hmm. all of these ridiculous qualities, whatever they are, that she's looking for. That's what she's mm-hmm. holding out for. She doesn't love this guy that she's living with. She doesn't. It Definitely doesn't. It's, it's a means to an end, right? But see, the thing that he's doing is he is keeping himself in her orbit, so he's keeping himself on good terms with her. So, and any time she want to throw a little cootie cat his way, he's going to take it. He's not going to make mm-hmm. some waves because wow. it's, it's a way to keep his life. And in his eyes, he's mm-hmm. now, for the first time, has a measure of control. But the control is a lie. And it, yeah. it is based on a house of cards that's going to fall eventually. And the only time that this girl or any girl like her is going to submit and be right is is two things will happen. One, she gets old and no one wants her anymore. Or two, something happens to her that disfigures her, be it her getting fat or be it that she has so many kids that she's no longer a viable option. That's the only way is when she exhausts her market value, that's the only time that she'll submit to whatever guy she's with. And he's just hanging around. Yo, man, as long as it works life. for him. And she's <laughs> that's, a parasite that's, that's going to feed off of any guy that comes around her and is willing to listen to her horse shit, whatever it is that she says and does to these dudes to make them think whatever. That's what she does until something better comes along and she jumps shit. How many guys has she been with, or do you know, has she been in a relationship with, quote-unquote, since y'all have been apart? Oh, I don't know. That I know of just him. 
Who knows, though? You know, you can't put nothing past nobody. I don't even know. And he don't want to know. He's, he's been, not going to ask that question. She's been with this guy for <laughs> so long. I, but I, don't, yeah, I don't know. She's been with this yeah. guy for so long. I think you said three years, but she's still been sleeping with you. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, he he's in the weird position where he is yep. <laughs> what exactly happened to him. That and that's such exactly. a weird place to be on the It's like it's like we reverse the role. I know, right? right? That's, like, that's just like damn. <laughs> no, there, no, 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 no. There is there feel... there is no there is no role reversal because you're not cheating on her. She's cheating on some other guy. She no, just I'm saying changed your guy, position the guy from being reverse roles, I'm saying. I went but from being the guy at the house. And then now, and I mean, and now. and so you know this, and you acknowledge this, and you feel nothing about it. As far no, as what, she what broke him. Feel what? I mean, I mean I exactly. Know. That's ex- that's exactly the point. He doesn't even know what he's supposed to feel. He's he's broken. I'm telling you, he's a, she's emotionally killed this dude. Just, and all of these women out here that say that men are so cold and closed off, whatever. This is what turns men into that. What you yeah. just witnessed. Which you just but I don't heard. Agree. The reason I don't for him, in terms of him logic, the reason I don't agree is because he said he cheated on her back when they were married. So no, no, okay, no, no. Now but... when we were married. Before we were married. Oh, so it doesn't oh matter. before you were. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, but he he also didn't. Wait, he he wait, also no. he also it, it sounds couldn't like it's more than once though, because I wouldn't have let you. We were only married. Now. We were only married for like two years. Out of our whole, our whole um, time being together, but we were together. But like, you've been together like for eleven years, 12? something like that. Eleven, twelve years, something like Good that. Good lord! Damn. Damn. So then you wouldn't lord. have broke up because she cheated ten years later. So she must have cheated twice. That's the whole point, right? We didn't break up. We didn't break up over nobody cheating. We broke up. Well, well let me ask you a question. We broke up. Why did y'all? Well, why did y'all get uh, married? Um, you know. Ask all the parents that, man. You know, the parents, the you know, were pressuring us to get parents. They was pressuring us to get married a lot. No, they, the kids oh, really? were there be- way before that. Oh, the kids were there way before that. from the parents. Damn. You know, the parents, get married, get married, get married, you know, so. There's a lot of pressure about why are you guys not married because they've been together at that time for, what, eight, nine years. Why are you not married? You have a second son. Yeah, why are kids. you not married? It wasn't just me. It was the whole family on both sides. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because it Char makes sense. Why are you with someone having so kids? <laughs> well, Why are you well, having well, kids well, and not getting married and y'all like are together? As, so. It's like as soon as we got married, that's when it went downhill. Damn. <laughs> no, it, well, it went y'all downhill got married, way before that. I'm not going to I was going to say, y'all got married and you didn't have a, a foundation but even to, to exactly build married, on. There was no foundation. So marriage was the... As soon as we got married, it was like, boom. All right, we're out of here. I don't, want, I don't like Damn. you no more. So <laughs> were you afraid that since she, Did since y'all she live cheated together? before you got married? I mean, yeah, we lived together think, our whole life. We lived together our whole adult life. Damn. Since she was 18, Why was yeah. marriage the or catalyst to y'all breaking yeah. up? That doesn't... It was, it, it's something else. It's, it's something else. It's something. It's oh, something no. else. She cheated before... I, I, but let me ask you a question. Since she cheated before you got married, weren't you concerned about... Okay, she's going to cheat again after we get married. So that's well, why you said that infidelity is not Well, she cheated on her, too, before they got what? married. What was she? No, yeah, she cheated on her, too, before they got married. them to get married. What, what, what was she? Wait a minute. How many, so, that so too. you guys had infidelity before you got married and then after you got married, right? No, after we got end. married, it was no. Not, after we got married, it was nothing happening. It was good. It's just that we well, yeah, didn't because that's why you broke up three years ago. Of course, the wedding. No, that's not why we broke up. that's not why we broke up. It was a pan. It was a pan. We didn't break up off like an energy like, hey, I'm, I'm with somebody. The parents it's just we them. broke up. We broke up, and then eventually, like I said, a we, she moved later, on to somebody else. No, no I, don't, I don't agree with you. So, like, so I, far, three of our listeners, three of our listeners are messaging in. Three of our well, listeners like, are messaging uh, in, and okay. they're saying they believe that there's way more to this story than you're telling. Yeah, it got to be. It's, it's I, there just, it does sound like it. That's why I'm prompting him and pushing because I wanted to. This is this show helps people. This show no, but helps I'm trying people to figure to out what, what And if you just be honest, just, it really could help you. Listen, I, I think wow. I think Char I think Char is is on to something that she said earlier. I think he's protecting her. I know. Not at all. From from listen to me. Why I got to protect her? 
All right. Oh, okay. You said because you kind of slipped out. You might be listening. To the, to the, to the, listen, listen, to the rest of the panel. Really to the rest of the panel. Really I, I know. I know what a savage wolf sounds like when he's out there just smashing shit. He like he just he he's dead inside. He doesn't care. He's just getting coochie, and he can be with girls for years and just bang them and not care. He, this guy, doesn't sound like that. This guy yeah. is describing a situation where he was in love with a person, and it blew up, and now he can't cope with the after effects. This is right. what this sounds like. Whether it was before the marriage or after, I believe it was way before. I, she probably was cheating on him for a long time, and then which then... Of course, the, the the advice you're going to get is you might as well go out there and get you something, blah, blah, blah. And then that's how you end up getting oh, in a relationship nah. where the both people cheat. Really? <laughs> wow. He's okay, okay. Nah, okay. Nah. all right. Now, now, see, now he's, he's giggling like it's funny. So my so question is, crazy. since, it's, yeah, since nah. it's that funny, then explain exactly what happened. So and before you get um, to that, hold on. Before you get to that, a listener just messaged in and they said, um, I don't believe you cheated on her first. I think she cheated first, but you're just saying that's that to protect her. Exactly. That's exactly no, I mean, listen, yeah. if she cheated first, I, I would be agree. glad to give her the. I would be glad to give her the she cheated first card because listen, I don't even want to look like no cheater. As far as I'm concerned, she as far as she's concerned, I never cheated in the first place. I don't. I don't you're want to a take tour. the card. How, how, how can you say you don't want to look like after, a cheater when you're actively wow. really smashing no, this chick while she's in a relationship? But, because, yeah, I know, right? Guess what? <laughs> even after, listen, even after I leave with people, I don't be like, oh, that's why I cheated on you with such and such. No, nah, I take it to the grave. I don't say nothing. So I'll let you sit here and say you did this and that, but you ain't never going to hear me say nothing. So, But you just did, on the show, you just did. Oh, of course. I'm talking about, I'm talking about <laughs> Well, because, I'm I, because lover, remember, I would never remember I asked him like, point blank, and he said nobody's ever asked him that. So wow. I think it's because I asked him point blank. Mm. And he's a tour to so, be loyal until someone hurts him first. Tour nah, nah, loyal until someone hurts like him first. Not at all. Like I said. So, you're, nah, so listen, Kai, your theory is, guy, is this dude is, is a serial cheater. And because you, a stranger on the hey, telephone, asked him if he cheated on his girl, he just broke down and told you. That's what you believe. I, I <laughs> just, I'm with our listeners. I, I'm with our listeners. I personally don't think he cheated because his first, his first statement after I said it, after I asked him that question, was, "I hope she's not listening." Like if you, exactly. like, I mean, who he would hear? Like that was a joke, though. Honestly, because I know she's not listening right now. But um. I mean, you never she know. She, she could she be. Is, she is, she you don't know that. We have lots of listeners. I know what she's that, doing that right now. She's at work. So. You know what she's doing? She could matter. be listening. Her friends could be listening. You never yeah, know. Exactly. There's, we yeah. have a lot of listeners, just so you know. It's a national well, show, international well, show. Well, most likely I know that so. I can slip past her on this one right now. And the thing is, regardless, <laughs> like, you know, I just don't, I don't ever, like, tell someone to their face or something like that. That right there is going to the grave. So, yeah. No. I'm Listen, it's, 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 it's many, it's, it's many different, it's many different things that goes into it. It's, it's the fact that happened, he out. he can't believe that a, a person can be like loyal, and that's too much to ask. And the fact that you know, well, I, uh, well, she, you know, but it, like taking all these pauses and stuff. It, it, it sounds like a dude that's injured emotionally. He's yeah. emotionally the injured. Is, nah, and the, the fact that... Is, oh, oh, oh dude, no, no, no. There we have plenty. 90 seconds there left, but plenty. a good question just came in. Wait, 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 wait. We have 90 seconds. See if you can answer this real quick. So a listener just messaged in, and they said, do you think what happened between your mom and dad has turned you into who you are now? Wow. Oh, it definitely... It definitely it, it's almost like the re, a replay um, oh. of what, oh. what, what happened to them. Oh. Um, no, it, I mean, you know, they had a long, they had a long relationship and, you know, and then, it, you know, it years. got, you know, something happened like this, you know, something similar. Um, but no, I kind of learned from what they did a little bit. And that, that's why I was able to take it. I, I was with my dad watching him grieve and sob and everything like that. Whatever. Not saying that my mom didn't, but I'm just saying, you know, um, I was from his perspective, I seen it. So I kind of learned from how he went through it. And learn how to do it. So you know, with mine. you know, you know. We have we have thirty seconds. Give your social media links quick. 
Well, wait, 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 wait. no, because hold on, hold on, hold on. This is what we're going to do. We have 30 seconds left, but we're going to continue just a little bit more off air. So if you want to hear the end of this, you can go to the replay and you can hear the end of this, but the live play is going to finish in about 25 seconds. Um, We will be back next week talking about your fantasies and fetishes since Char's son isn't going to be here and it's not going to be creepy. So we're going to be talking about that next week. If you want to hear the end of this show, just go to our replay on blogtalkradio.com or you can go to our YouTube channel, No Conduct Radio on YouTube, and you can hear the end of this interview with Char's son. So thank you for joining us tonight. We're not finishing up. Go check us out on YouTube. Peace out, everyone. Okay, All right, goodbye, so, everyone. Um, Thanks for joining us today. So don't hang up yet. They're, they're, it's already off live air. So no, I got my it. question, so this person, I, I thought it was a wonderful question. So you're saying you saw everything that went went on with your your mom and and your dad, and you saw your dad grieving, and so that made you be able to deal with this situation, but it didn't stop you from getting into this situation. No, I just learned how to handle the situation mentally, you know what I mean, so that I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like for the first. Six months to a year, I was real messed up about it, you know. I took it like any other guy would, you know. I was real sad, you know, cried my eyes out, all the regular stuff like that. Thought that I could never, you know. But after that, I seen the light and I realized how to deal with it, you know. And I started dating other girls, realizing, you know, there's other girls out there. And then just thinking about, like, like I said, thinking about everything. It's just, I don't know, it's harder for it to phase me now. It's different. It's different. It's harder for, for these things to, to bother me because I've learned from seeing it already, and I've learned how to build it. I don't know. It's good for me. I saying, think I should write a book mm-hmm. so I can help other people cope with their breakups. <laughs> you can help other people. Oh, cope but with their breakups. But my thing is, Absolutely. I think they should write a book. I got the remedy. I got the remedy, man. You got your Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Are you know sure about that? that? My thing is, still I, I, just, I don't think that's a remedy. <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, if, oh, my gosh, so many things. If you saw this happening to your your parents and you saw how much it hurt them, why would you repeat the same mistakes? Yeah. Um, I'm not really repeating the same mistakes because I, I think that how it would be going on it is a little bit different, but... Like, um, I don't know. I just know that, see, I don't know how long y'all relationships have been or whatever, if you've been in an everlasting relationship or whatnot. Yeah, but, I have. Okay. Well, <laughs> over, over, well, over you, 30 years. Well, well, then, so I don't know how you are, but for me, that person became my best friend, man. So and I, yeah. I, I've got male, I've uh-huh. got male best friends who, I got male best friends, right, who, done some pretty BS things to me. And I'm like, man, I don't know. If, I, I, that, that ain't my boy no more, you know what I'm saying? But, like, but I've actually forgave for certain things that happened before. And nothing ever happened to me again from them guys. You know, we've been solid for, you know, the last 20, 20-something 20 years now. And mm-hmm. it's just that the point is, is that when you got, like, the people that are your real friends, long-time friends, you may do some, some, some things to each other. If you could get mm-hmm. past those things and move on, then – it's a good, it's a better, stronger relationship, healthy relationship, man. For me, anyway, that's how I look at it. And right now, me and her are just good friends, man. We could talk about anything. If I need some help with something, I could call her. If she needs some help with something, she could call me. We talk about the kids. We help raise the kids together. There's, uh, and she, she could do what she want to do. I could do what I want to do. I can go wow. on a date right now with somebody else. She's doing whatever she's doing. I know she's not with a bunch of dudes. She got one guy. So How do you know fun. that, though? How do you, how you know that? That's the truth. She can she tell you anything. Even if she got two guys, if she could, if she could juggle that, she, she, that's good for her. She do got two she guys. She got, she got you on, you on him. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's crazy. That's true, though. Yeah. That's true. Uh-huh. She ain't got me. She ain't got she, me. Do, she does she have do you. you. She, she, she does she have do. you. You, you, oh, yeah, you still sleep time, with right. her. She can count on you to I send her money or whatever <laughs> whenever she needs it. She can count on right. you to call you Even and, and listen to her day. <laughs> the only thing, the only thing y'all don't do is live together. So she does right. have you. Yep. That's true. Well, she should have me, though. That's how I look at it. <laughs> she should have you. Huh? Oh, wow. Why oh, the kids wow. are there? Why the kids are there? Anyway, I said it. Was there. 
Why the kids? Man. Once the kids move out, I'll probably have a different outlook on the situation. It, it, should, it should have been about the kids, though. You, How old you are you going to let the kids grow How up? How old is the youngest her? one? They they back to back. They're nine and ten. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah, he's giving okay. himself a good decade to work it out. You got a long way yeah, to go. Yeah, right? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it would be faster than you think, man. Shoot. Yeah, what? <laughs> Another decade. You, you just said once the kids are out, your your youngest yeah. is nine. Um, yeah. yeah, I might <laughs> have but they, ten they, years. But you, you see, they may they may be with me soon, though, you know? So, hey, when that happens, you know. Wow. He said he wanted to take um, them turn 13 and 14 or 14 and 15 full time. Take them? Oh. Yeah. I, I want to is, take she gonna, is she going to allow you to? I think she will, yeah. That's she what wants I to break. And so in. once you take them, the then break. you're saying, once you take them, you say you're saying you're not talking to her anymore or sending her money anymore. Or? No, we would still talk, but she don't need no money from me. We can still talk. <laughs> she don't need any money from me. I think she don't need no money. So you still you're, still you're still going to talk to this girl, even though you have your kids and you know yeah. what's going on with your kids and. Yeah, there's nothing yeah. that she because, can call you and ask you. Because there's no there's no grudge. You know what I'm saying? There's no really? grudge, man. But because you love her, you will still send her money. Because if she wants something, you don't tell her no. If you have it, you give it to her, period. It doesn't matter what it is. It's just the way the relationship is. So question, so question just, just, for me to verify this. just for me to verify this. Are y'all divorced? Like the paperwork has been in and y'all are divorced? Or are y'all still just separated? Because I think separated. we've been assuming here. Wow. Wait, wait. What? Son what? Of a... <laughs> what? What happened? Wow, so, what that? are you waiting? What are you waiting for, Cuddy? She's already wow. living with another man, that, and she and this man means enough to her that she has to sneak to talk to you. So, what are you waiting for? Wait, what? What are you? Why are y'all divorced? <laughs> oh, um, I don't because know. he still loves her. <laughs> Get that. It's the whole show. He still loves her. Yeah. He still want to be with her. He just don't want to admit it. I've been saying it the whole time. So what do you think it is that he wants to be with her, but she doesn't want to be with him? Do you think that's what it is? I told y'all this. I love her. I'm not. I don't know. I just don't want to. No, I don't want to be with her. Well, yeah. look, that's, I listen, don't want to go back and that, I don't want to do that. Life okay, let me let me ask the panel this question. If somebody if somebody told you if somebody told you they no longer wanted to be with somebody, but they still talked to him every day. They still sent this person money. Anytime this person had a problem, they made sure that they was there for him. And on top of that, whatever they could smash, they did smash. Does that sound like a person that doesn't want to be with that person anymore? <laughs> it sounds like a relationship, like a long like a relationship. Yeah, it's a relationship, right? Yeah. Uh, it's a relationship. It is. Uh-huh. The three years is a long time to wait, though. I don't understand the Your actions is not time. adding up to what you're saying. I'm telling you it's right now. So it's so not. It's so not. It's so not. Like, you may, you may in your mind tell yourself, I don't want to be with her, but you have to look at what you're doing. And the, the, the signals that you're sending is, yeah, whenever you need me, I'm only a call away. That's a, that's a boyfriend. Or a husband. That's the kind of thing. Yeah, kinda, I mean, because you're cannot, so married. You Maybe cannot you give wife like energy. You cannot give husband energy <laughs> to some woman that don't want to be your wife. Yeah. I wonder uh, if we're getting to see him at all if he's just drowning us out. <laughs> no, no I'm listen. just, I'm no. just, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I can't really, I can't, it's, I don't know, man. It's one of those situations to where, I don't know, it's complicated. I, I love my baby That's mama. I never it. let her go. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That rap song, that rap song. <laughs> Oh, wow. I thought we were going to get to more stories, yeah. but this was the craziest relationship story, and it took up the <laughs> whole show and more. Yeah. I have just, this is, wow. Well, I'm going to end this by saying that you need to make a decision. Either you're with her or you're not. You know, yep. y- y- y'all need to get a divorce if you're done, or y'all need to try and make it work if you're all together. Y'all are showing, and this is both of y'all, y'all are showing your kids the wrong message right now. 
they're Do you so got daughters confused as to what's sons? going on. No, I got boys. Two sons. He has two sons. Well, what, wow. do you know what your do you know what your sons are growing up looking at? <laughs> my father and my mother don't get along. And no, we get along. I am we get watching. Along. No. That's not how they're going to see it because you're not together. That's how a kid's mind works. You're yeah, not in the same house. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. and then, then, then they're, they're going to grow up being subjected to whatever relationship she has, and all they're going to see is static and arguing. This right. is what they're going to think a normal relationship is, sneaking around, talking, and everything like that, and when she hears that car pulling up, oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. So they're gonna think that that's how women conduct themselves, and this is how, well, this is what I should expect when I go get a woman early. You know what I mean? It's, exactly. it's all being planted in their mind. When you're a parent, you can't just. When you're a parent, you can't just think about yourself. You have to conduct your life because you're the role model to your children. So yep. I know you're telling us Absolutely. that you feel us and everything, but you sound like my little brother, like, oh, yeah, hurry up, hurry up and talk and so you could just shut up and go do whatever you want. <laughs> so I, 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 I know you nah, because hear I, us. I feel, like, I feel like it's all case by case, you know. It's everything, I feel, I feel like it's case by it, case. It, it, case. It, it, it's really not. We are older than you. We're not, I mean, we're not as old as your mom or anything like that, but we are older than you, and, and we're telling you based on experience. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Sorry, oh, my too, God. right? Yeah, he's 32. He's yeah. like my little brother's yeah, we ain't age. We ain't that much older. I mean, but I'm saying he's like our little brother's age. We both have brothers about your age. And that's you what know, I'm saying. I, we're I older don't, than I don't you, but we're wanna, still in the same age group. I don't want to put him in that, in that category. That well, I'm just saying, but we've been there. That's what I'm trying to explain to him. No, but what, no, but this, what I'm trying to explain to you is as a guy... As a guy, I think it, it just it happened too recently, and he's now what he's going through is that period of reconciliation. He's not, it hasn't hit him yet, you know. And if you, I'm telling you, BJ will be able to tell you the same thing. It takes a while for it to set in. Like this is the yeah. guy that I, I am. Like I'm, I don't want to be this guy. He doesn't realize it yet because he's focused on yep. rapping and all this other stuff. So he's still mm-hmm. in his head. I'm young. I got these plans yeah. and dreams, but when he yeah. starts to slow down, his mind goes and like, he if he ever start if he ever I don't know what kind of nightlife he has, but when you have enough quiet time, you think he's gonna get you, he and he's gonna start processing. It's gonna be like this dirty bitch, you know yeah. what I mean? Like he's gonna start yeah. realizing, oh shit, I'm this guy now. It, it hasn't hit him yet, so he yeah, like no, over yeah. saying. It's, it's, he can I'm understand it, already, but he's not. I'm no, you're not. You're not past it. I can tell, I can tell by your voice. That's the way you're talking, I can tell man. you're not past it. <laughs> you're not past it. No, he ain't hit it yet. He ain't hit it yet. You know what I'm saying? Because if, you, if, 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 if with a straight face you could say that I send her money and I, you know, I talk to her behind her man's back and I'm okay with you, you haven't passed it. You're not. Nope. I'm telling you right now. You no, haven't. but you just said, okay. you just said that I would look at it, reflect on it, and really look at it and say, oh, this is dirty. This I'm past that, yeah. man. I'm, I'm, I'm past that. No, you know no, no. Saying? You ain't no, I I, no, no, no. Hold on. I don't like, mean dirty I'm, bitch. I'm and then you're that. upset about what she's done. You, That's you're what not realizing. You're not realizing what she's still doing yeah. to you. You, you, you can't wait. even see it. You, wait you don't even time. see it. Nope. You know what I'm saying? So that's why nope. I know you're not past it because you can't see the strings on your arms while she's dangling you like a puppet. You can't see it because right. you're, you're just looking at your own eyes like, oh, everything's good, everything's fine. You haven't, you haven't noticed the strings yet. It's but when that happens, yeah. yeah, when that happens, you're going to realize all this fucking cut. Yep. Oh all this time God, I wasted. Really, yep. Yeah. Wasted, yeah. I wasted on her, yep. I could have been with nah, somebody man, else building my life. Because that's what I'm doing now, though. Yeah, yeah, what you got to understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm living you my own girl. life. I'm living Look, my own life. Right yeah, you know but, y'all, y'all. But do, y'all but do you really think that I don't have no females? <laughs> Come on, like. <laughs> it's no, not about you having like, like, females. It's not about that. So you're not life, understanding. You know I mean? No, See, but what I'm trying to tell y'all. My life is separate from her. Like, I. I don't even think about her much. You know, we're cool. We, we'll, we'll talk here and there, but 
I got my. I got fear so and that's fear. How I, that's how I know I you're not there yet because that's not what we're talking about. No, 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 like, it's not like she's getting all of my time and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just quick. Back to listen, I, I, look, I normally, I normally would never say this, but listen to Char because she can see what's happening. <laughs> and because the mother, she doesn't want yeah, you to get hustled. Listen, and, I, and I'm going to say this, and this is all due respect to your mother. I'm not trying to disrespect her at all. Your mother is a hustler, so she can recognize a hustler when she sees one, and she doesn't want you to be a mark. I'm telling you, listen to your mother, because she's peeping what you're not able to see. But yet. you gotta understand, man. I'm not a sucker. She's I not don't gonna have to understand like have nothing. Me. I'm telling you, she's not gonna have me over here. What? All right, here's the she thing. already got you, you, homie. I'm telling she you right now, you're, you're already Once done. Once I start feeling that way, okay, then all right, this is a situation. But I don't feel that way. You know what okay. I'm saying? So that's all right. That's the that's the thing. Listen, Shar, Shar, look, like look, this, look after your boy. It's like this, okay? Just, it's like just this, right? Keep, it's like keep this, an right? eye on your boy. It's like this, right? Just, just, look, I got a perfect example. Right now, Walmart they buy products for two dollars and sell them for five. But you don't have an attitude when you go in there and buy for five. You don't care how much they they, they bought it for, right? You don't care about the process. You happy with it? You don't have no complaints. You don't you don't look into it too far. And that's where I'm at with this. I don't look into the situation too far. It don't bother me. It don't bother me. Yeah, because you're, you're, because you're angry. Because you're angry. No, no, I'm not angry at all. I'm not. No, listen, that's, you, that's you do. Y'all listen, listen, there is, there is some resentment that you feel about what's <laughs> no. happening to you. It doesn't, it doesn't mean it's actively ruling your life. But, but if there was resentment, I would be typical and not talk to her. You know, have an attitude. You know, f life or f girls, women. No, 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 no. You're you're, you're, that, confusing, that, you're confusing. You're confusing that I'm, with being petty. You're not being yeah. petty. But that's but a form of resentment. It, it, when you when you're sitting here and mad at everyone or you you pissed off because of a situation. And I'm not. Listen, that, I'm telling you, you're, you're, you're thinking about me. it. In, you're thinking about it in a very cartoonish term. Like, in order to be resentful, doesn't mean you have to be throwing a tantrum. There's a lot of people that are resentful. But they don't say anything to anyone. They're very passive aggressive. They don't. They don't mm-hmm. like. They'll leave a note on your that's, car or something. That's petty. That's. But that's what I'm saying. That's, Listen, that's, that's I understand. And petty to me. What <laughs> I'm saying is, when you have a, when you start to adopt a thought process like, I don't care what anybody else does, as long as it doesn't affect me, and blah blah blah. Period. That that is coming from a place of anger and hurt, because now you don't even want to care about what you're doing or what you're helping someone else do to another person. You, now, if you were in a good place and you were feeling like I am worth uh, um, I am worth a stable relationship, I am worth undying loyalty no matter what the cost is, I am worth unconditional love no matter if I'm rich, poor, fat, in shape, whatever, I'm worth this. If you were coming from that place, you would realize this girl is not up to par. She doesn't deserve to talk to someone like me, so I'm not going to talk to her. You know what I mean? Until she can start treating me right. Once you start coming from a place of feeling self-worth, you would never allow yourself to even be used the way that you have been. Because you would look at her and laugh, and even if she called you and said, "My tire, you know, I, I, my tire went out," and you know, well, let's say the guy's name's Craig. Craig doesn't have the money, and I don't know what I'm going to do. Your only response would be, "So, do my kids need a ride to school? Like, what are you asking me?" Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no, I need help with my tire. And, well, you chose Craig, so deal yep. with the Craig relationship that you have. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. If something happens to my kids, and, and give me a call back. Wait, listen to me. If something happens to my kids, give me a call back and hang up. There will be no further dialogue because my kids are fine. I don't need to talk yep. to you and know what's going on with your life, but you're keeping yourself there because you, you know, still not, do want to be around her. I'm not. I'm not. You know? I'm not bitter no more. That's, that sounds like a bitter 
a whole bitter approach. I'm not bitter. That sounds that sounds bitter to have self respect enough to not get comport with you. But I decided to disrespect you in a relationship. I'm not not even bitter bitter no more. Like you gotta understand yeah, that's bitter because it's like the thing is is that as long as I'm gonna tell you right now, you always lose as long as you allow other people to control your emotions. You always lose. It's not about control, it's about control emotions. So for me, you always lose. Once again, you always lose when you allow others to control your emotions. So if you're going to let someone's actions or whatever they did or whatever they chose to do, so now you choose to treat them a certain way because of those actions, then you lose. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't give a damn if somebody okay. claps let, let, me, let, me, let me come at it this if way. Decide, let me come at it this way. If someone Hold on. Let me, let me come at it this way. If you decide to forgive them, then that's that forever. Don't have okay. it with if you, man now. If now you had a friend, if you had mm-hmm. a friend, that mm-hmm. found your book that you wrote your rhymes in, right? Mm-hmm. And they stole that book from you and then mm-hmm. went to New York, recorded an album on your lyrics, mm-hmm. went off to be a <laughs> platinum artist, but then came back and said, we can still be cool, right? I mean, you ain't going to let something like that dictate how we act with each other. You going to be friends with that kind of person? Depends on the circumstance of our friendship. Is that a new friend? Is that a what? long-term friend? What? No, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's an old wow. friend. That's an old friend. You've been friends with them for mm-hmm. years. They found out that mm-hmm. you wrote rhymes. They liked your rhymes. Never told mm-hmm. you. Stole your rhymes. Went and got a deal. Never gave you credit. And keeping the money, not helping you out with nothing. But they still well, want to hang out whenever friends. they come back to town. Friends. Most of my friends already would have known all of my like. Hey, see, I mean that's a good example. Listen, no, no, like, no. Look, look, look. Hold on, hold on, Cuddy. You're splitting hairs here. I'm asking you a very direct question. I'm asking you if one of your longtime friends stole your art, became mm-hmm. a successful artist, did I'll not give you the lyrics. money, did not <laughs> give you the credit, and then came back to town and said, "Yeah, we could still, you know, hang out, right?" Would you still be friends with that person? Of course not. Okay. Then what's course the not. difference? Because You're, you why, why are you a, wait a minute? You wait a minute. Why are you allowing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you allowing this action that they took to dictate how you treat them? That's what you just said because you wouldn't do. No? Absolutely, but guess what? But guess what? It's, ca- it's levels to that shit, right? <laughs> it's levels to that. Because, and, 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 and like I said, actions of the past, because what, I, what, what would happen is in the future, when I've seen that guy, eventually, I wouldn't even let it bother me no more. I'm not going to say we'd be the best of friends or no shit like that, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to even let whatever he did in the past determine how I treat the man. I'm not going to say, oh, fuck you, fuck out my face. Whatever, man. If I get past it, if I forgive you, see, this is what I said anyway. I think y'all forgot my, the context of what I was saying. If I choose to forgive you for what you've done, then I no longer can sit here and treat you this way and still, you know, try to prosecute you or treat you a certain way. That's what I mean. Because we've okay. already forgiven each other for everything. Okay. So at this point, it's, it's, it's solidified. Once you forgive, forgive someone, it's solidified. That's what I'm saying. You know okay. what I mean? So either... Either walk away or was anybody or deal uh, with it. under the impression that we were talking about forgiveness? No. Well, because you, when you when you spoke Not specifically really. on my situation, but when you spoke specifically on my situation with you know my girl, the girl, it was um. Wait. It's, it you heard that? You heard you heard that Freudian right? slip, right? <laughs> my girl Freudian slip, right? I don't. I don't <laughs> never call <laughs> my girl, so I was gonna. I was gonna call yeah, my girl. My girl. That's your girl. <laughs> but um, anyway, it's subconscious. The point is, is that in, speaking specifically on me and her situation, I did forgive her. So for now, in this case, me dealing with her on this basis, like, yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and still treat her one way when I already forgave her. She already forgave me. Like we passed that. We were already buried that and put that past her. You know what I mean? So now I'm not gonna sit here and still be, ah, oh, well, you know what? So yeah. yeah. That's the case. But she's still, but I'm she's a, still in the situation with this other person in a full fledged relationship. Because I want her so to that be, means that means that she's not right still. There. So how can you just move past anything? I, I, as long as she's I want, still with I, that person, I will. I would rather want her be her with him. Be with the I want her to be there because wow. right now he's war, he's warming. I right, say if I, like I told mom before, if I want to go back, at least he's warming up. For, he's keeping the seat warm for me. I don't need her to be over there. <laughs> no. Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh, my God. God. oh, my 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 God. Oh
Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, you, know, you see what I'm talking about, Kai? I don't know what I'm talking about. I do not I need. Him out I do not away. need. Yo, I do not serious? need. I do not need her running around here with a bunch of different guys, man. So what? It doesn't matter. Realistically, doesn't... realistically, <laughs> but realistically, I know women. Women, they always need listen. Somebody. Cutty, women, all, Cutty, women always need Cutty, somebody, or somebody. Realistically, listen, she's never going to come back. She's yeah. never going to be that girl no, you see, once you, had. You guys are, That's over. Absolutely not. I'm, and I'm not the guy it's, she once had. Of course not. But 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 you got to okay, understand, so, but it's you're, not you're, about her coming back to me. It's about me going back to her because at the end of the day, if I wanted to, I can go back home right now. No, you, know you can't. So, well, That's what no, we're trying to tell you. At the end of the day, if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could go run right in the house and take back over if I want to. Listen, that's what she's telling him. Because she's still in love with him. No, she didn't even got to tell him that. That's clear to see. Wow. That's clear as day. How do you know? You know what I'm saying? You're not in their the one, relationship. The you don't keys, know the, the inter- keys to the I have the keys to the house. I will walk right in the house right now, make him get what? all his shit, get out. What? And I, will get all, I will get what? right in there, back in the house like I need to be. Listen, the, to. hold on, hold on. Before everybody loses their seats, <laughs> don't you believe that for one second. If this woman... <laughs> If this woman is sneaking behind this man's back to talk to him on the phone, there is no way that she gave him keys to the front door. It ain't happening. Right. I have keys to the I'm door. I'm guaranteeing you that. I have keys to the house. No, you don't. I have keys to my house. No, you well, don't. Well, maybe he doesn't know about your house? Maybe her they're in your house. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop. So this is your house that the guy moved into? Well, not my house. No. You know what I'm saying? The house, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Who's the house? No, 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 you called it your Who's house. You said I have keys to my house. Whose house is it? Who's not my house. Who's paid for it? Who's paid for it? Who's She's on the mortgage? The it's not even a mortgage. She's paying the rent. So, yeah, that's her house. Okay, so she's paying but, the rent. I'm a, yeah. Look, if but he I has keys, keys though, so. which I, listen, if he has keys, yeah, it's he a has secret. It's a secret. That guy doesn't know. That guy doesn't mm-hmm. know he has keys. I'm going to guarantee you that. Oh, no, he don't because know Because you keys. cannot. Hell, no. What? No, nah, he don't know I got keys. No, nah, because I, I really course, never. I don't, I don't because go you're up. the secret. You're not the, the guy. Sne- it's the snitchy <laughs> thing. Okay, if, you're still, if you're her husband, maybe that's why she gave you keys, but none of this makes any sense. Why would you, no, why would you still be her husband if she lived with somebody else? In the first place. I've had the keys for like no keys. He is a husband. They still marry. He's a husband. I had the keys no, but for about that's a year my and a half. Point. So why do you have to have sneak and have keys when another man lives there and y'all both have keys? It shouldn't even be a situation no where you can even keys. because because no, he is the secret jump off. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. wait. Did I'm you just say there's no, no sneak no. and have keys? You are sneaking. The it's, guy doesn't know you no, have keys. That's sneaking. But it's not like but he doesn't even know how much he talks to you because he argues with her when he finds out anyway. But it's not like I'm using the key going to the house. I ain't been in the house in forever, so it's like it don't even matter. Like, my kids come to me. I don't go. I don't go inside that house. That that doesn't matter. I don't care that you haven't been to the house. Uh, uh, you have keys to. Yeah. Uh, I guess another <laughs> man's place. Uh, another man's Girl. woman's house. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need that. because he's still her husband. If that's the case, then of course she's probably feeling like, well, it's my husband. I can't tell him he can't just want you know come in anytime he wants to. I can't deny my husband. No, it's because I do. It's no, it's just because. That's part of the problem. It's, right it's, there. No, it's just because it's, crazy. It's, it's under it's under my terms basically as far as that's concerned. What? I wanted wow. the keys to the house. I got them. Whatever. And that's you it. Got just in case I've ever need. Listen, BJ. You, know, you know exactly. Him. You are, you know exactly what's <laughs> going on. She's telling him all the things he want to hear. Yeah. So he keep that money coming, and but you know he got a surprise. <laughs> Not at all. Not okay. at all. Because this is because okay. Because, because, you done, you done paid a few bills is, already. I, because the yeah. crazy thing I'm is, because you. the crazy thing is, is this: me and her just got cool again about two months ago. So Dude. before that time, so before that time, because my kids were with me for the summer, I'm gonna say now almost three months ago. Right before that time, but we were not even talking. We weren't even cordial. We no, what? Say no, 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 no. But what? you just, yeah, the last time y'all had sex was 10 months ago, so what's the difference? Ago. Like, exactly. You're saying that, you're exactly. telling us so, something like we're supposed to be like, oh, okay. Exactly. So for about six or seven months, beginning of this whole year, we weren't even talking. I wouldn't even say two words to the girl. So but that was cool. We just, <laughs> that makes that? no difference. But I it know doesn't. Uh, anyway, no, uh, anyway, anyway. 
I, I okay, we're gonna have to. We're, I, I just, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm like at a loss for words. <laughs> we're like 30 minutes over. We have never in the history We've of this, this entire before. show ever, you know, gone this long ever. over. We have never gone even over ever. So it's a this show. is a very we got a broken show. man. Well, 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 yeah, he well, has when you no got idea. Like, you got me. Pinocchio has no idea. Line. You made history. You really have you made history. This has never happened. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 definitely sure. history on this show, and we still have listeners messaging us because they want to know what's going on. But anyways, um, so we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much, uh, Rob, for coming on the show. Please send me that no Thanks, uh, video or link to the video or whatever you want to do. You want to give a shout for out sure. to some of your social media, media real quick? Yep, you can just follow me on Instagram, uh, Cuddy Pop the Menace. That's C U T T Y P O P D A. M E N A C E. I know it's a long name, but and, you'll find and it. And where else can they hear your music? Where else can they hear your music or see videos? Yeah. Where else can they see your music? What do you rap about? Okay. Her? What do I rap well, about? Well, we have to cut. BJ, we I have to cut this short. BJ, you, you, can, you can check it out on social media. No, I'm not. Right. Definitely say it. Okay, okay. I just want to know if you can rap about this girl. Okay, okay. Y'all can go to his YouTube, like he said, his SoundCloud. His sound clown. His sound clown. Sound clown. Or follow him on Instagram. I'm pretty sure all his his information is on his Instagram. Also, go to our YouTube, www.youtube.com slash no conduct radio. You'll find all the rest of our shows there and the rest of this show. Ugh, nobody's listening right now. But <laughs> I wanna right. thank I wanna thank Rob for joining us. Thanks Shar for having him on. And thanks for being as honest as you possibly could. Um I wish you a safe trip back thank home you. and Peace out, everyone. Yeah, thanks, you know, for well, joining us. It was fun. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Okay, everybody uh, have I a great break. week. Yep. Okay. Peace out. <laughs>